Love Liberty, we do indeed. And at 11 o'clock, we've got Joe Carter's pig and kangaroo. It's not a piglet, it's a pig and kangaroo. So, uh, here we go. So, terrific tools, terrific tools out. I've got all sorts. I've got, well, everything you're going to need and rust balls and everything, all sorts of stuff. So, stick around for that. Uh, yes, yeah, this one first. This is Joe Carter's bag that she's made. She's going to be taking you through how to make this bag. But also, we've got the pattern for this as a quilt. We've got the pattern for this as smaller bags. We've got clips. We've got clasps. We've got everything. Oh, that's one thing I didn't do, Hannah. One job, John. I didn't sort out the flexi thing handbags. Um, anyway, that's that, 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 that. Then, of course, I've got Liberty Fabrics at 10 o'clock. And then what you've all been waiting for for ages and ages and ages... Seen in the magazine just recently. Now, uh, now uh, this, you can make it with or without the tutu. What it is, is we've, got, we've got the pig. Oh, look, the last. Oh, look. That's, the Hannah gets that when she takes the jeans off, she says. And the older you get, Hannah, the longer it takes to disappear. See, I have it where my socks are at my ankles these days. And it may, reminds me of my dad when you take your socks off at night time and there's all the, there you go, it's gone. God now. Uh, anyway, anyway, so we're going to be doing the pig. A pig. We're going to do the pig pattern, but we're also going to have. We've also got a little bundle to make two two twos, two two twos to go with it. Or I know what else you could do. Make him into a clown. This is like Elizabethan rough as well, isn't it? Anyway, if you can have a boy one, because obviously it could be a boy or a girl. Uh, so uh, we'd love you to get in touch. Now, can we show this bit? We can show this bit. Um, we'd love you to get in touch. The best way to do that. The table's sticky. <laughs> Ooh, look at the muck in here. Uh, anyway, uh, website, www.sayingquarter.com. What you need to do is click on watch the show live. Uh, there it is. You click on that box there. Now, you do need to log in at this point. My hair looks dreadful again today, doesn't it? Um, anyway, 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 uh, you have to log in at that point. It doesn't cost you anything. Now, uh, oh, now it's all gone already. Products from today's show down. Oh, first of all, message. Message you, do, you do it in that little box there. Hello. Uh, keep it to 140 characters or less. Because don't be, don't you dare. She's been sarcastic again. Um, uh, you can message her, keep it to 140 characters. It'll go through to Hannah, who's producing me today, and then she will send them through to my tablet. I have to say, we get so many every day. I apologise if I don't read yours out, but we do read them all. Uh, products from today's show. Uh, you see underneath there, when I introduce bundles or fabrics or tools or anything like that, they will appear there. So if you can either buy them from there now or you, if you're watching the repeat later on, you can just go down and click on them and put them in your basket. Now, if they've sold out, which I'm imagining the piggy might do, um, then it won't appear down there. You can also scroll to the top of the page while we're live and on the right-hand side, it says add to the basket. It will be a picture of what we're selling there. You can click on it and add it to your basket. Now, the brilliant thing, one of the brilliant things about Zone Quarter is you can check out as many times as you like. So if you see something in the 8 o'clock hour, like a cutting board with 50% off or something like that, and you want to check out straight away to make sure it's yours, you can do that. And then if you see the pig in the last hour, you can check out on that as well and you'll only pay one pmp of £2.95 for the whole day that's work that's four to six working day delivery you can email us now can we do that one oh we're also going fine then isn't it we're going yeah so here we go so uh email studio at sewingquarter.com this is the only way you can get longer messages or pictures through to me studio at sewingquarter.com studio at sewingquarter.com. Now, I've got two important things to tell you. One is, you know the new data protection thingy that's coming in at the end of May? For us to carry on sending you uh, emails and, uh, and tell you about promos and spend and save days and guests and things like that, you have to re-sign up to the, um, so to, the, to the email list. What you do is you see the front of the page there, that or to the right there, the blue teddy bear, that's the thing that spins round and round and round. Click on there. It takes two seconds to do. All you have to do, look, is put your name and your email address and pre remember to press the submit button. Don't do it from a phone or an iPad or a tablet. Do it from a computer or a laptop. Uh, that's why. Now, I can't tell you to do it. I can't make you do it. But it just means that after May the 25th, Marcia's birthday, you won't be able to uh, get any of our, our emails. You're going to be inundated with all the people whose mailing lists you're on. They've all got to do it. So I've only had, so far, the vet, my financial advisor, and a shop called Utility. 
And um, so, um, have you had an email from Sewing Quarter? So uh, Hannah's had an email from Sewing Quarter, and she's had uh, an, an email from Etsy. You see what I mean? So it's kind of like, uh, it's going to be frightening, because in the next four weeks, everybody that you're, oh, now, my bank has, oh, yes, my bank has, sorry. No, your bank won't do because there's no money in it. No, exactly. Right, so I've done that, I've done that, done that. Or something else again. Oh, at the weekend, at the weekend, at the weekend. We're on for eight hours live at the weekend. So on Saturday, you'll have Natasha from 8 till 12, and Vicky will be here 12 till 4. And then on Sunday, Natasha will be here 8 till 12, and I'll be here 12 till 4. Just over the weekend, live, 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 live. I know, well worth tuning in for. I will be live, as live as I can be. Anyway, shall I get on? Well, now, now. This is where the issue starts, right? Because our graphics are broken, I can give you the code of everything. You can't buy on the web, but can they, they can ring, can't they? You can ring the call center, and they can take your order. Well, hopefully it's going to be sorted out in the next 15 minutes. It's going to be a long hour if, it, if they don't. So let's just start with the first one. Let's do something simple to start with then. No, no, because that's all part of the, that. Do the bundle first. We'll do the bundle first. Part, that's part of the, I've got the little mini iron on today because there's a little story, isn't there, with the little mini iron. So, we lo look at this. Now, it's not, it's, not, it's not the bundle to make that, but that is what this could look like with all those gorgeous colours. That's Jane Alcock's trip around the world. So, now, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different fabrics there. Half a metre of each. There's real purple. Violet. Bright red. Fuchsia. As, as little Paul's in there, so you'll get this in the fuchsia, John. Uh, bright orange. Yellow. Lime green. Emerald green, cornflower blue, nautical blue. Now, this is where normally we'd go like this. Oh, oh, well, there it is. There's the code. There's the price. There's a Haven't got that this morning, I'm afraid. So for five metres of fabric, it's £31.99. And, and the code is... I'm ever so sorry. You're going to need a piece of paper and a pen, aren't you? I should have warned you. Uh, wait, what is it, then? D for David, R for Reginald, G for Gail, C for Carol, 99 for the ice cream. How much is it? 31 what? 31 what? 31 pounds and 99 pence. I'm ever so sorry. I'm ever so sorry it's done this. They're beautiful. Remember, now the phone number is a complete free uh, 0800 112 4433. It's a free phone landline, or it's a free phone, whatever number you ring from. And you, uh, it's, it's just down the road. It's just down the road. Right, we've got a thread bundle to go with it. Would you like to see that? I'm going to, if this right, I'm going to be finished by 20 first, aren't I? Oh, now you only get six of these, so it's not quite a rainbow, is it? Nearly. Oh, now. Yeah, I'll show you in a minute, right? I'll show you in a minute. Gutemann threads. Are you turning away? For oh, sorry, that's shot. Oh, no, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, so you get six Gutemann threads, and it's £10.49. The code is C for Charlie, S for Sugar, G for Gail again, C for Charlie, 77. I'm ever so sorry that you're having to write all this down. Just ring the call centre and say, I want the ones that are on screen right now. Oh, no, don't. Oh, yes, you can do that. I want the ones that are on screen right now. Now, um, shall I show you something that I didn't know? that um, CL showed me the other day, didn't she? And I was, like, really, really surprised by this. And everyone on the um, Facebook page went, oh, I didn't know, John, didn't know that. So this is a Gutemann thread. You can unscrew the end. Oh, now I should have practised this, shouldn't I? Oh, no. Maybe only CL can do it. 
There you go. You can store your needles in there. Now, obviously, if you're going to use it on the machine, be careful, because obviously you're going to have to put that on your spool, aren't you? Because that your spool will go through there and through there. But if you're hand sewing, you can store some needles in there. It's brilliant, isn't it? I didn't even know about that. Apparently, they've done it for years. There you go. One more look. Fabulous. Don't, now, can we, can we get messages then on today? Oh, OK, OK. So now um, we can get, we can um, take emails, but we can't take web chats at the moment because that's down as well at the moment. Uh, well, do you want the email address again? Let's inundate Hannah with emails, shall we? She's not got enough to do. She's got so much to do upstairs anyway. But if you want to send in an email, please do. It's here. Studio at sewingquarter.com. Studio at sewingquarter.com. What are you saying, Han? Oh, no, a lady's just, a lady from Cumbria has just emailed in saying, I can only get an American channel on um, Freeview 78. I wonder what it is. Is it interesting? Can't help you, I'm afraid. I can't help you that. Oh, how funny. That ours is working, so I don't know what's happened to you. Maybe you have to retune your box, my love. Right, where shall I go next, then? Spool racks. Big one first. This one holds 120 spools. It's wood from Millwood. It's not made of Millwood. It's only 29.99. This 120 sp holds 120 spools. Look, you obviously don't get the threads with it. I'm just putting this to show you. The code. V, T, so V for Veronica, T for Tommy, G for Gail, she's popular this morning, Q for Queenie, 82, 82, 29.99, 29 pounds and 99 pence. It's lovely, isn't it? So, and don't forget as well, let me take those off again. At the back, you can hang it on the wall if you want. Little Paul always usually puts these on the wall over there, even when we're not doing it. But look, <laughs> he loves it. See here? See here? You could paint it if you want to. If, if, if wood doesn't fit with your... Um, oh, that's a bit close, isn't it? If wood doesn't fit with your um, theme... There we go, that's better. Uh, but look here. You see, you can uh, put screws on the wall, hang it on the wall. Oh, we're doing a close-up of the screw hole now. Thank you, Michael. All right. It's nice, isn't it? It's good quality. That's a real... For 29 99 it's a fantastic price, isn't it? It's amazing. So, Hannah, what are you saying, Hannah? You've got 120. So put your normal threads on this one and your machine embroidery threads on the other one. Yeah, keep them separate. That, I bet that looks amazing with 120. The one with 60 on looks amazing, Phil, doesn't it? But the one with 120, with all that was filled up. It's beautiful, isn't it? I wonder if a bobbin would fit on there. I haven't got a bobbin here to see. Just try later for you. Wayne, could you get me a bobbin, please? Okay. And then, if you haven't got 120, you haven't got the room for 120. This is 60. This is 60, this one. This one's 19, 19. Now, it's wood, remember. It's wood. The code is WL GQ 67. But obviously, you can only ring the call center uh, to buy it at the moment until they fix the graphics. You can only buy by ringing the call center. They're lovely. They're all waiting for your call. They know they're expecting your call. Pauline has emailed in. Hello, Pauline. John, you're a trooper, she says. In the face of adversity. Oh, thank you, Pauline. As Pauline says, thank you for coming to my, to the whole team, for coming into my home and brightening up a miserable day. Oh, it is miserable, isn't it? 
Oh, now, thank you, Mo. So that happens. So that we can get it right, what the police use. We're going to use their letters from now on. Oh, but look, look, the bobbins do fit. Bobbins do fit. So you could put your bobbin next to your thread, next to the corresponding thread. Or you could put the bobbin below your thread. Oh, you mean like that? Oh, look, Timothy getting a bit... Yeah, you could if you wanted to. Yeah, yeah, obviously they're not matched, Hannah. And I've got a white one to match it up with. Now, I don't know where Wayne's got this from, but this is one of the special bobbins, isn't it, with a little felt on the bottom, which comes with one of the machines. It's a 680. It's not felt. It's like plastic, but it's... Anyway, he's been rummaging in the 680 box, obviously. 19.99, that. 19 pounds and 99 pence. Oh, no. <laughs> Fantastic. Cool. Oh, yeah, uh, yes, well, it was part of, oh, no, that's not part of, oh, yes, that was part of my story, but never mind. Yeah. Uh, Joe Carter never does a show without this, does she? It is the wipe off or the water erasable marker. Two pounds and 49 pence. The code is, here we go, get Mo's email up so we get it right. Hotel. Sierra, Golf, not Gale, Quebec. Oh, don't numbers have any? 67. Numbers don't have another word then. What do you mean? What's our letters? <laughs> Hannah said, well, numbers are universal, letters aren't. Uh, anyway. This is a water erasable uh, pen, £2.49. Pence. I've got a bit of dry skin on that finger. You, can you see it? I've got like, little piglety hands, haven't I? It's good that the pig's coming up later. Do you know what? I might start my story. I might start my story. Right. And I've not, not once upon a time, it's just John in his workroom. Ironing mat. Now, it's not called a mat, it's called a blanket or sheet, isn't it? Blanket, ironing blanket. It's from Prim. It's uh, how many? 90 centimetres by 60 centimetres. And what throws me a bit is down this side, it goes to 45 centimetres. And then this one, it goes up to 40, and then it goes down from 40. So what did you just say it was? Uh, it's 87 from edge to edge that way, and 57 from that side to that side. So it'll be 90 by 60 when it's stretched out. Uh, it's prim, because it's, it's prim as round, you know, rolled it up and everything. Anyway, on this side, you've got your angles, you've got your centimetre squares, you've got your bigger squares here. But you don't have to use this side if you don't want to. You can use the side that we norm would normally use. You can use this side as well. This is the one, that kind of metallic side. This is the side I'd usually use. So, anyway, my little story is that. So the, the code, item code for the mat, for the blanket, is... V for Victor... G for golf. P for Papa. Hannah's not on the police one. What is it? H for hotel. H for hotel. 46. 24 pounds and 99 pence. 24.99. So you get your ironing mat out. You're busy you start using your ironing mat. Then you think, well, do you know what? I need an iron. So you bring your iron across. It is the Prim Mini Iron sitting on the Prim Mini Iron stand. So which would you like to do first? Prim Mini Iron first, $39.99. Item code. X for X-ray. A for Alpha. B for Papa. H for Hotel. 07 for James Bond. Oh, no. 
Uh, anyway, 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 and then the, the mat, the little mat, is fantastic. We do this for big size irons, and now we've got it for the little size iron as well. Silicon. I just think it's sweet because it's made especially for this little iron look. It's five ninety nine. Oh, <laughs> the iron doesn't like that. The uh, not doesn't like it. It's just squirting out its steam. The code is Q. Oh, you for unicorn. Unicorn. No, what did you say? Oh, uniform. I thought I can't imagine big butch policemen going. You for unicorn. You for uniform. P for Papa. P for Papa. Twice. H for hotel, 84, and it's 5.99. So carry on with my story. So I've got my ironing mat here, and I've got my little uh, Teflon mat there. Now, we did have this in pink as well the other day. Sold out, got it in the purple, just got it in the purple. And I've got less than 30 of these left. Blimey, we had hundreds of them. Anyway, so I'm going to get my piece of fabric, and I want to hem my fabric by an inch. So I get my fabric out, just press the preset to my fabric. Oh, Anne Wicked was brilliant. Oh, do you know what? I've seen it in the West End so many times. I've seen it so many times. And I thought, oh, the tour won't be anywhere as good. Anyway, because I'd seen it with Adina Menzel and um, what's that lovely blonde actress that played uh, Galinda for years. Anyway, anyway, uh, the two girls came on and I was like, oh, no, they won't, they won't be able to do it. <laughs> They'll, they, no, they were brilliant. Oh, it was the theatre was as full as you can get a theatre. It was absolutely... You know, normally, if you go to... Because it was a matinee, don't forget. Go to an afternoon show, right? Normally, the front of the dress circle is full and the stalls are full. I, look, I was in the dress circle, I looked behind me, and it was full right up to the rafters. Absolutely chock-a-block. It was brilliant. It was... And then they worked so hard. And then we went home, and like I said to Bonnie, who I was, went to see it with my friend Bonnie, um, they've now got to get changed and start all over again. Got to do it, I had time for a butty and a cup of tea. Then got to start all over again. Anyway, it was fantastic. So if you can go and see, if you want, if you can go and see it, if it's on tour at the moment, it's in Birmingham till the 29th, which will be, oh, yeah, it's what day? Sunday, so it's here till Sunday, and then it, I, I'm sure it'll be sold out now. But it's at the Hippodrome, yeah. Oh, yeah, the band goes in. The band goes in the adverts for the band. You know, the Gary Ball. Gary Ball, oh, his show's going in. And is that the one your girlfriend's working on, Timothy? Oh, Timothy's girlfriend, what's that? Anyway, so I get my, I get my piece of fabric and think, oh, I need to do, it says on the pattern, I need to do exactly three centimetre hem. And I'm like, oh, I could get my tape measure. Or I could get these out. Now, every time I bring you these rulers... They sell out, right? They sell out. Back in stock today. The code is... Oh, I thought it'd be on the box. Isn't that funny? I for India. X for X-ray. O P for Papa. H There's lots of P's. And Papa's no tails today, aren't there? H for Hotel. 47. Right, so... In se 7 dollars you get both. You get both for $7.99. Right. So here we go. So you're thinking, I need to do a three centimetre turn up on this fabric. You could use your tape measure like I used to do, but look at this, right? These are so simple. You can iron on these. You can iron on these, right? So what you do is, oh, I haven't cut that very straight, is you get your ruler the right way around and you turn your fabric up to the three centimetre mark there. Three centimetre mark there. Oh, now, and I don't normally have my iron on the other side. You just, you just iron. Oh, hang on. It's, I've got all, no, I've got loads of cords here. Anyway, so you get your three centimetre there, your three centimetre there, and then you just press. Look how brilliant, first of all, look how brilliant that iron is. Look how substantially that iron works. So there, You've turned your hem up. Oh. Oh, sorry, there you go. You've turned your hem up by your three centimetres. It's brilliant, isn't it? Absolutely fantastic. Now, what you can do is if you've got a longer hem to do, like this one. Ready? So let's do this one three centimetres again. Let's get it right. There you go. There you go. 
I need this way I need to be left-handed, really. I'll just do it left-handed for today. So there you go. So you keep your card at your three centimetre mark. And you can do the whole of a hem of a skirt, imagine. So you just slide it along. Slide it along like this. See? And then you do your next three centimetres. So you can do it like that. You can also do, if you wanted to, let me go to the other end. Oh, it's angled. Hang on, let's just wait like that. Or, right, it's quite good actually the graphics on that because normally I wouldn't have the time to do all this, would I? Uh, you can do, if, say you're doing a sleeve, right, and you've got a real big turn up, look, you can go up to 12 centimetres. You could go up to the 12 centimetres like that. Uh, you could put it on a sleeve. You wouldn't, it wouldn't need to go up to 12 because on a sleeve it would be smaller. But imagine, oh, no, I know what you do. It's sometimes, you know, when you're making a cuff, right? So let's just do this. Like, I'll put this and I'll press that down there. So that's your 12 centimetres, right? And then what it is is sometimes you have to make a cuff like this, don't you? So you've got your fold-back cuff like that on the right side of the fabric. And then under there, you've got your exact amount of um, turn-back that you need. So there's your, t like, on or, you know, turnips on trousers? Old fashioned I mean, obviously, it wouldn't be that deep. No, 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 not inside, on the outside, a turnip, not turning up trousers. No, you know, like, period trousers that turn up, have turnips on the outside at the bottom? Hannah's got no idea what I'm talking about. I'll show you. Yes, uh, so um, I, I, just so you know, the graphics are broken. Nobody's fixed them. Oh, no, somebody's actually pelting over here. They're blaming Hannah for... Ch they're blaming, they're saying it must be Hannah's fault because she shut, she was the last person to stop them. No, you weren't, Hannah. No, because they did filming in here afterwards, didn't they? Oh, you were the last person to... See, I was trying to get you out of it then, Hannah. Because they did a bit of filming here. Mm. Anyway, so you get so anyway, so basically, until they come and fix it, there's somebody in a car pelting over here now. They're not driving too fast, well, they won't be able to at this time of day, will they? Um, someone over, so it could be a while before they're fixed. Oh, we are getting some emergency graphics made for the next hour. So they're obviously thinking it's not going to be working for the next hour. Oh, next hour's really. Can we not just do the pig next hour? Because we've got one. But they've got one graphic, haven't we? <laughs> anyway, anyway, these are 799. So what happens is you can, the only way you can buy is by ringing up, right? 0800 112 4433. Can't buy on the website. Oh, I haven't finished yet. I've got more to show you yet. Yeah, there's more to show you yet. So you get both these rulers for 799. And the, what you can do is you can just ring the call centre and say, the rulers that John's got right now, I'd like those, please. And they'll have the code for them. Now they'll have the code for them. Because um, I can't sell them to you on the web, because uh, unless we have graphics in, you can't get them on. Oh, we go. Message from Hannah. Oh, okay, right, okay. Now, if you're watching on the replay, look down underneath there, even though I won't have graphics here, look underneath me there, because Hannah can play them through if it's fixed by tea time tonight. Right, now, the other thing that's brilliant about these rulers is sometimes you need to mark... Well, no, let's get a, a straight edge that hasn't been pressed. You need to mark a line that you're going to stitch on or something, aren't you? So, these rulers are fantastic, because what you do is you get your erasable marker, and you say, right, I need to have a mark uh, four centimetres from the edge. Look at the, I keep taking my glasses off and putting them on, don't I? So, what you do with this one is you line the edge of the ruler up with the edge of your fabric. You go to the four centimetre mark, and you just use this. Look, and then you've marked, can you see that? Yeah. You've marked your line. So if it's a stitch line, a fold line, or anything, a pleat line. Oh, this would be, do you know what this would be brilliant for? If you're doing box pleats. And you need to mark the lines for your box pleats. And you don't even need to move it, because you get to eight there like that. Now, when your rulers arrive, these little holes will be filled in. I don't think I've got one that's still filled in on here. But, oh, look, sorry, I'll just show you that. Sorry, I'm going all over this. Can you see those? Right, when yours arrive, oh, no, someone's actually sat and punk, put, all those little holes have still got their, um, 
bit of, uh, it's not plastic, so it would melt, but a bit of fabric silicon in there. You just need to pop them out. You just need to pop them out. To create, somebody's had fun sitting in the office doing that, haven't they? I think they're brilliant. Oh, these are one of the things, like my prim, oh, oh, I haven't got my prim turner because it's out of stock at the moment. Um, I wish I'd invented those because they always fly out the door. Fly out the door, they do. Oh, oh yeah, that's what I was supposed to be doing, wasn't it? Story went wrong. So I'm back with another skirt, back with another skirt. Right now, uh, now um, everything's the wrong way round. Oh, I've got a plug on that side. Right, so, and it could have been right handed all along. So I've got my thing, my prim on there. Right, then I'm doing this, right? Really with a big iron, because the little iron, you can do it. But you know, sometimes you go, ooh, ooh. Well, actually, um, happened to, who was it happened to this morning? Somebody was ironing this morning, they kept going, ooh, ow, ow. Right, these are fantastic, right? These, oh, they all match, look, color wise, they all match. Yours, it's all prim, but they also do blue as well, don't they? But look, these are prim silicon finger guards, four pounds and 95 pence. The code, C for Charlie, M for Mike, P for Papa, H for Hotel, 63. And what you do with these is you just get three different sizes. One's a thumb, isn't it? One's a foot. Now, I remember I've got big fat sausage fingers, but you put them on your fingers like this, right? And then, look. You see, there's none of this, ooh, ooh, ooh. Obviously, they're going to get warm, but it's not a, ooh, not, you have to do that. When you're doing bias binding, it's perfect, really, because you're pulling the bi bias binding through like that, aren't you? See? I think they're brilliant. How much are they? 4 95 4.49, even. 4.49. Three of them you get in a packet. Okay, she need, Hannah, this is worrying. Hannah needs them, for, she needs long length gloves because when she pulls a tray out of the oven. Did you know, a, a friend, oh, this is, this is not a very nice story actually, but uh, years and years, years ago, a friend of mine, she used to be a chef at the naval base. And when they make baked beans, they don't put them in a saucepan and stir them. They put them on a big, when they're doing the breakfast, they put them on a big tray and put them in the oven. And she, well, hang on, let me, could you finish, let me finish my story, please, Hannah. She went, well, my dad, my dad, so she was pulling the baked beans like that out of the oven. Somebody disturbed them. The whole tray went like that all down her legs. She was in hospital for ages. I told you it was a bad story. I told you it was a bad story. So what did your dad do? Well, he opens the tin. Right, this is Hannah's dad, right? To bake, cook baked beans. He opens the tin. Mind you, knowing Hannah's daddy went open the tin. And then he puts the tin in the oven. That's weird, isn't it? That's very strange. Anyway, so we finished doing that one now. Oh. <laughs> I have pulled the whole the magic of TV, eh? It's, it's hooked back on, it's fine. We'll fix it in the break. <laughs> oh, what's, what, oh, this is um should be ironing, shouldn't it? Right, okay. Well, he's our new IT manager as well. Blimey, does a lot, doesn't he? Right, OK, so that's that. That's that, that's that, that's that. I'll let that cool off. Should we do the lamp next, then? Anna's just talking to the management upstairs. They've obviously come in going, why is John just chattering away like a... Right, I love this lamp. I love this lamp, can I just say. It's a flexi light. It's 1799, and the item code number is H for hotel, S for Sierra, F for Foxtrot, V for Victor. Is it Victor or Victory? Oh, just Victor. Oh, you see, Ginger Mike knows all these already. Why he's mentioned in them, I don't know. Why Mike is there, I don't know. Anyway, anyway, and how much? It, Oh, 35. Yeah, last number's 35. Sorry, I didn't do the number. 35. Um, but you can ring the call centre right now and tell them you want this. 
Uh, now, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. So let me just show you it, first of all. It's, it's portable, lightweight. Right, so now don't panic. When I, oh, get it off. When I first got this, I was like, there's no plug. There's no plug on my lamp. It is, oh, there's no plug on this light, right? But it goes into the, the side of your computer or into one of these, you know, where you charge your tablets. It's called a US, USB charger, this is, but that doesn't come with it. You all get them with, your, I've got mine with my phone, haven't I? No, not my phone, my iPad. My iPad's got one of those. Anyway, so you get that, but you can charge it up, right? You can charge it up. Then look at this, look at this. It's fantastic, right? That's how, that's how Hannah dances when she's out on a Saturday night. Right, okay, so that's fantastic. But look at this, it's on a big clip. It's on a big clip. Uh, right, so now we're gonna go walking. You ready? So, if you've got a shelf above where you're working, can bring the light, I haven't switched the light on yet, because I'll talk about the light in a minute. So it can go there. It can go on. What are you complaining about, my? <laughs> oh, shut up, Hannah. Right, okay. Then, uh, if you want to, put it on the side of a table. Like this. Now, this has got quite a thick top, this table. No, no, I'm just showing it's on the side of the table there. But it clips onto whatever you want it to clip on. You can take it wherever you want. Now, you don't have to have the wire attached because it, it, you charge it up, right? Now, I think it's, I'm going to tell you because I'll get it exactly right. I think you charge it for an hour and it has, four, here we go, look. Uh, right, charging time from flat, from flat for four hours, right? So when it's brand new, you need to charge it for four hours. Um, and then, when you have it on full charge, it's LED, so it's not going to get hot. Two hours at brightest level. And you go, what's it mean by brightest level? Oh, it's come back on again, get off. Right, so it's off here, right? On the front here, you've got your little, like, it's just not a button, it's just a sensor, right? You hit it, right, so you hit it for one, there, for soft light. Hit it again for medium light. Hit it again for bright light! and then off. It doesn't get hot, it's LED, it doesn't get hot. Uses hardly any, uh, well I've told you how much power it uses. Um, it also, it's, it's also got, let me just switch off. Right, at the side here, that's where you put your charger in. So even I can work there. So that goes in there like that. And then on this side here, you've got a master on off switch. So if you've completely finished with it, you just switch that off and then no amount of pressing the sensor will switch it on or off. But there you go. I think it's brilliant. Oh, no, now, Hannah's dad makes Airfix models. And he does oil painting. Would you, uh, yes, uh, do you want, click it on for the easel if you wanted to. You could click it, uh, hang on, this is my easel. I've got a spiky easel, look. But also, if you, if you, if you share, if you've got two kids and they share a room, right, and one's a bit old the other and they want to read when the other one's asleep, Put it on the headboard, or the bedhead, as I was calling it the other day. Put it on the headboard, like that. Or, you, if you're doing a bit of sewing in bed, so if you, but if you're going on the train, if you're going on the train on a grey, dull day, like today, supposedly, is outside. No, 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 you're going to stay somewhere, and you take your sewing with you. Look how small it folds up in your sewing bag, and then you could just sit on the train, with it on the train table next to you there, lighting your book, lighting your sewing, lighting whatever. I just think it's brilliant. One, two, three. One, two, three. I love it. I'm loving that. Is there anything else I need to tell you? Apart from the fact it's 1799, ring the, ring the call centre. If you have just tuned in, I'm sorry, we've got no graphics, they're broken. They are trying to fix it. Uh, Hannah broke them yesterday, apparently they're saying upstairs. Uh, so the only way you can buy today at the moment if you're watching the repeat, hopefully it'll all be sorted and everything will be lined up underneath me on the computer. Just ring the call centre, it's just down the road, they're brilliant, free. Yeah, if you, um, I'm giving you the codes and the number, but if you say what you like, the call centre will have their list in front of them, or well, the computer, not a list. They'll be able to help you with it. 
Right, okay, I'll put that way. Put that way. Right, now, yesterday, we touched on the freezer paper yesterday, didn't we? Um, everything that we had yesterday went, but that was because this was already scheduled in today's show. Oh, oh, still few, fewer than, uh, how many? Fewer than 30. Is that right? Have I said that wrong? Right, this is plastic coated freezer paper. Uh, you can use it to wrap your sandwiches. You can use it to put food in the freezer, wrap food and put it in the freezer. But what most people use for is crafting, whether you're doing applique, whether you're doing copying patterns. Uh, Victoria Pete used it yesterday to cut out the uh, shape of the felt hair on the little red riding hood um, doll. And um, Mandy Shaw uses it all the time. Mandy Shaw uses it all the time because what you can do, it's 4 99 the code is X for X-ray, U for uniform or unicorn. It, oh, Echo, that's the first one. E for Echo, Q for Quebec, 23. It's like bingo, isn't it? And how much is it? 4 99 Right, you get 12 metres in here. Don't, that's 12 metres, isn't it? Yeah, which is 12 metres. 13 and the third yards, which is 12 metres. Brilliant, isn't it? And so what it is, on one side, you see it's very shiny on that side. It's got a waxy finish on that side and a matte finish on that side. If you iron it with the waxy side against your fabric, now it's not a glue, don't worry, it's not an adhesive. It just gets tacky and you can just, doesn't mark your fabric, doesn't stick to your fabric, but sticks to it long enough while it's warm for you to do whatever, cut it out or sew through it or anything like that. Uh, it's brilliant, brilliant, brilliant for crafting. But they also say, if you've got a children's craft area, use it to cover the table with. You know, like, um... Okay. You see what I mean? You could wear kiddies a painting, just put it down the table. My mum used to send me to school with my rich tea biscuits wrapped in it. Yeah. My three rich tea biscuits. That I'd have with my little, you get your little milk. In my day, you used to get your little third of a bottle of milk at tea break. I was the milk monitor. Yes. And we had turnips on our trousers in those days, Hannah. You don't get more milk if you're a milk monitor, but you have to go and collect all of them up, and then you can go and help the dinner ladies to put all the, the ones that haven't been drunk into the jug for the pudding. Next. This one. Metal threads, these are gorgeous, these. They're £12.99. Oh, could you get them to fix the thingy? I'm bored of the reading all these out now. Q for Quebec. Quebec. K for... Mike? Kilo. Kilo. Why do you know these, Mike? You've been a policeman in a past life. K for Kilo. E for Echo, Q for Quebec, 90, 9 zero, 9 zero. These are gorgeous, look at them. They're the colours are just beautiful. Now these are 100% cotton, there you go, oh there's the number there. They're 100% cotton and they've got that silky sheeny finish. Can I, oh there, no it's still a step there. Isn't it lovely? Look at the colours in there. You've got fuchsia, you've got scarlet, you've got orange, you've got yellow, you've got uh, bright green, you've got dark green, you've got purple and, well, amethyst and a purple, royal purple there. Or tanzanite, that's more of a tanzanite blue, isn't it, and a purple. They're lovely. Gorgeous, gorgeous colours there. Summer collection, 100% cotton with a silky sheen end um, finish. There's no silk on them, it's just the finish on them. There's the finish on them, the silky. You get 150 metres on each one, I'm imagining. Right, it's gorgeous. Yeah, pelican shear. Well, they're not called pelican shear. They're soft grip shears that look like um, some pel a pelican to me. They're by Fiskars. You love these. You absolutely love these. 
Okay, so we've now got, they don't look like a pelican, John, they look like a woodpecker. Uh, these are fantastic, because first of all, they've got a lock on them first, so they just release that, and the blades, I'll do it that way, the blades are open, and then all you do to cut is you just press down on that top. Now, if you've got dexterity issues, see, you know Jay has dexterity issues. He loves these scissors because they take, take any pressure, they take any pressure off your arm. Um, because in there, there's like a spring-loaded um, mechanism in there. So it's taking the brunt for you. Uh, and then when you put them away, you pop the lock in. The ends aren't sharp, so if you're gonna keep them in a drawer, there's no worry about cut, catching yourself on them. The whole of the handle is this beautiful soft grip here on both sides. So what's the code for this one? I for India. Y for Yankee. G for golf. Q for Quebec. 13, unlucky for some, 13. Um, 22.99. £22.99. I do like these because, let me just show you, right? If you're cutting fabric, you can just cut along like this. Do you like that? Fantastic. End of demonstration. They're lovely. They're not heavy either. They're lovely and lightweight as well. And they slice through your fabric. This is lovely. I think this is a brilliant invention because it's not squidgy soft, but you just know that if you're going to be using it a lot, it's not going to be hard on your hand or anything like that. Got dressmaking shears now for those of you like me. Who you have, I've got these at home. These are a larger size. 20... 25 centimetres, that's the whole length of the, of the uh, pair of scissors there. Oh, you can feel, you can feel they've got a gorgeous cut to them. Uh, how much are they? Oh, they're so good. £22.99. Code is F for Foxtrot, S for Sierra, G for Golf, Q for Quebec. On the nose, oh, number 38, 38, 38, sorry, 38. Don't know, I don't know the bingo term for 38. Three and eight, 38. These are fantastic. These are incredible. They're so sharp. They're so just, I love these. I, you see, I, I personally prefer these to the Pelican ones, but that's only because that's what I've trained in. But... Just brilliant, brilliant shears that just slice through your fabric. And also, uh, what's lovely is they're sharp thin, so you know when you have to do your little, uh, when, when they do the little notches out of the seam allowance, look at that, right at the end of the um, blade, you can cut out your little notches, it's so sharp. Don't let anybody use your dressmaking shears, because first of all, if they cut paper or string with them, they ruin them. But also, if you, you, they get used to the shape of the, your hand and how you cut. And if you give them, so if I use these, and then I gave them to Hannah to use, I'd be able to feel that somebody else had used them afterwards. It's like a bit like your chair, Hannah, that's gone to the shape of your bottom, and nobody else will sit on it in the office because they kind of fall in. That one. Velcro, one touch fastening. Um, you get stick-on ovals here. 24 millimetres long, two and a half centimetres long. They're only 3 99 Now, let me... Oh, yes, let's do the code first, sorry. S for Sierra. P for Papa. G for Golf. There's lots of the same letters, aren't there? Q for Quebec. 82, 82, 82. Uh, no, oh, does, doesn't it go to 100? No, eight, no, they all have rhymes. Okay, so there's no sewing, no gluing, no ironing required. Simply peel back, stick, and done. 
Wash and dry your fabric for applying, peel from release liner and press adhesive onto fabric. Reaches full permanent bond after 24 hours. I'll show you the back here. So you pull it, pull the back off the backing, stick it onto your fabric, leave it for 24 hours. You can wash it afterwards. There's the code there. What? Hang on. Sewing quarter and MTV. And we also do music here then as well. Didn't know that. You can dry clean them, but don't tumble dry them. That's what it's saying. Yeah, it meant me, that's when I sing. Obviously, that's why we have to have the rights for when I sing, I suppose, the musical rights when I sing. Uh, oh, yeah, now I've got this in the packet. Prim Seam Ripper, now it's very ergonomically designed, this one, isn't it? Have a look. Good, isn't it? Yeah, look, look at how it's ergonomically designed, so it f your fingers and your thumbs fit into there. It's $4.99. Oh, B for Bravo, G for Golf, P for Papa, H for Hotel, 52. Five and two, 52. What's that? Oh, no, you can't. That bingo calling, right? 52, Chicken Vindaloo. Oh, oh no, that's better. Danny LaRue. 52. Oh. When, I did, uh, when I did Panto in York, we always had the same, the York Theatre Royal, we always had the same dame. It was Barrett Kayla every year. And one year, Danny LaRue lent us some of his frocks for the day. Did you know Danny LaRue could do a whole costume change, wig, jewellery, dress, shoes, in 20 seconds? Oh, no, I don't... So Hannah, right, first, she no turn-ups on trousers. She's got no idea who Danny LaRue is. Oh, I don't know. Oh, somebody sent me a picture. Linda. Oh, we can't... Oh, we can't show it, Linda. Oh, it's called John's Weather Forecasting Stone, and it's as it swings, it's like a dowsing stone. It's huge. Apparently, we can't show it because it's someone else's pictures. picture, Linda. I do apologise. But you can, always get, you can always Google it. I'm sure you'll find it. John's... Oh. Oh, John's for weather forecasting stone, it says. Right, thank you anyway, Linda, for sending in to cheer me up. <gasps> Might have graphics in a minute, no promises, Nan. Now, this is so boring to look at, isn't it? It's fusible fleece. Nine ninety-nine. there's your code. RPGQ40. Romeo, oh, because we haven't had a Romeo, have we? Romeo, Papa, Golf, Quebec, 40. And what's 40? Oh, there is no, oh, no, it's blind 40, isn't it? Because the thing with the not naught on the end is blind. Blind 40, blind 30. You get a metre piece in here, and it's basically, it's, it's just, a, it's a few, it's a, I'll show you. It's fusible, so you can iron it on. It's really good for bag making and some forms of, of quilting as well. But this side here is um, fusible. And this side here is like a, a wadding. Can you see there's a difference there? Yeah. Uh, now, um, the way that you put this on is when you put doing your, uh, don't iron it on. Victoria Pete says get a wet cloth, very, very wet cloth. Put it on here, put it on, you've got your fabric underneath as well, uh, 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 on top as well. And you literally, on, you'd use your big iron, obviously. You literally just put the iron down like that. Leave it 15 seconds, put it there, 15 seconds. Put it there, 15 seconds. Do it with a big iron, not this, this little iron, obviously. Oh, fantastic. For now, oh, it's break time. Oh, no, I haven't finished. Sorry, you've got to go for a break. Uh, we will have graphics, and we will have Joe Carter, and we've what? And it was Hannah that broke them, apparently. Yeah. Uh, and if, uh, if Shaz is watching, it wasn't. Right, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Is everything ready, Wayne, though? No? Don't know. We'll see you in three minutes from now. We oh, I haven't done those. Oh, okay. 
Oh, see you in three minutes, me and Joe Carter and Handbag. Follow us on Pinterest. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing work we create and love. Hi, I'm Angie Atwood and here are some of my top tips. One of my top tips is how to um, easily thread uh, a sewing needle, hand sewing needle. Instead of trying to push something flexible, which is your thread, through the eye of a needle, if you swap them over in your hands and hold the very, very tip of the thread just between your finger and thumb and then take the more rigid needle and place the eye of the needle over the thread, then you will thread it far more easily. My second tip is um, with regard to pins, um, a little bit like the world of wadding where there's such a huge range, there's also a huge range of pins out there, but particularly for patchwork, uh, for fi very fine piecing and accurate piecing, it's um, a very good idea to invest in some very fine pins, um, sort of of the silk pin weight. Uh, these ones here are a particular good size for piecing patchwork and it's not until really you put them up against some other kind of pins that you realise then that the larger ones almost feel like knitting needles. These are great for quilting when you're pinning through quilting but for your piecing you want very fine precision silk piecing pins. My third top tip um, is regarding your fabric. I know it's beautiful when you get your fabric um, and it arrives from sewing quarter beautifully in, your, in, in its box and it's all beautifully folded. The first thing that you want to do is to open it right up and have a look at, at the whole expanse of fabric. My top tip would be to not unfold it too far, certainly no further than when it's folded off the bolt like that. It makes cutting so much easier if you haven't um, disturbed it too much off the bolt. You can get yourself a nice fresh cut edge and then turn it over and start cutting away very accurately. Love Patchwork and Quilting is the best-selling modern quilting magazine that shares your passion for fabric. We publish 13 times a year, featuring must-make projects, essential techniques, interviews, News and reviews from the world of modern quilting. Every issue comes with a free gift. Create your very own stained glass masterpiece with Angie Atwood on Sunday the 29th of April. Angie Atwood joins us at 9am sharing this delicate fairy tale-esque stained glass block which creates the most beautiful wall hanging. The stylish pattern is a perfect project for an intermediate quilter using applique and binding techniques to echo the curves and petals of a single rose. With striking bundles to choose from using lavender and Tiffany blue shades, you'll be seeing the world through rose tinted glasses with this inspirational quilt kit. Join us on Sunday the 29th of April at 9am for an hour of stained glass quilts and tips and techniques with Angie Atwood only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 678. Simply Sewing is a magazine for dressmakers and home sewists who are passionate about fabrics and love to sew with stylish patterns. Each issue is packed with technical know-how, templates and easy to follow instructions to sew yourself quick wardrobe updates, accessories, plushy toys, gifts, bags and more. Plus, each issue comes with a free dress pattern from our expanding trend-led collection. We're proudly flying the flag for contemporary sewing with stylish patterns and beautiful photography to inspire sewists across the globe at every level. Sewing Quarter is the UK's first TV channel dedicated to sewing and quilting. On air and behind the scenes, our team of top industry experts work hard to bring you tons of exciting projects. Whether you're into dressmaking, bag making, piecing, patchworking or quilting, you'll learn something new every day from our talented guest designers and fabulous presenters. 
Our online shop is packed with tools, haberdashery essentials and fabulous fabrics from simple solids to designer gems. And with our 30 day money back guarantee and single daily postage charge, you can shop with confidence. So tune in daily on Freeview 78, Sky Channel 678 and shop online at sewingquarter.com. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. How cute is this? Isn't that lovely? Now, um, it, this is that very famous, um, what's the one Joe did to start with? It was pandas, wasn't the very first one she did. Oh, I think Wayne, Wayne must have been having his breakfast while he brought this one in. There you go. Uh, it's just gorgeous. I've got so much to show you before I get to Joe. So bear with me, bear with me, bear with me. But now, the majority of everything you saw in the first hour should be down there. Now, if you're looking on the web, not on the telly, don't be looking under your telly, obviously. But if you're watching on the web, you know the products from today's show. Hannah, in that break, she didn't have a cup of tea. She didn't go for a comfort break. She didn't do anything. She was just busy typing them all in there. So, oh, do you want to say? Right. Now, it's all about handbags. It's all about handbags this, this hour. So, let me just show you these, first of all. Which is, aren't these gorgeous, look? Aren't these completely gorgeous? Raccoon, right? And then rabbit. Then an unfinished one with a lion. I've been saying that all morning in prep and Joe went, it was my prep one. Anyway, but look, 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 look at these gorgeous things as well, look. Uh, it's funny, because what month are we in? Nearly in May, aren't we? I bought Hannah a, um, Clamshell quilt for Christmas, kit for Christmas. She's not done that one yet, surprisingly. Anyway, it says that one, that's uh, teddy bears. There's the rabbit that you saw from the first. Obviously the fabrics I'm showing you these in, we don't sell these anymore, but I've got other fabrics to show you today. And then look at this. This is the one from the bag. That she's, isn't it lovely? Right, so and I've got lots of choices for you at this hour. So I'm, I'm going to go through absolutely everything to start with, and then we'll go and do some sewing, because it'll otherwise it'll get confusing. So the first bundle here is, no, 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 because I want to surprise you with what's in here, right? So look, for 24 pounds and 49 pence, you get all of these. You get 10 purse frames, right? Put them in the right. Two of each design you get. There we go, there we go, there we go. Done it, done it, done it, done it. Can you see that? You get ten, five designs, two of each. The camera's just coming. There you go. So you get all of those, plus you get the instructions how to make the purses, plus you get the instructions how to make the quilts. So in that bundle, 24.49, you get all of the clasps. You get, now this is how to draft the purses to fit the clasps. Doesn't have the animals in that one. It just has how to make the purse shapes. And it's because you might not want to put the animals on, on all your purses, might you? Then in this one, it's got the quilt pattern, which I just showed you there, the mini quilt pattern there. But it's got all the tips, so all the instructions for the clamshells. But if you want to do one of the bags, you see, you've got the templates in here. The lion, the teddy bear, the owl. She never made the owl, did she? The bunny, the raccoon, and the French bulldog. Because the next door neighbour's got a French bulldog, apparently. I don't know which neighbour's got a raccoon and which neighbour's got a lion, but there you go. So in that bundle, for $24.49, you get two lots of instructions, and you get the, um, the, bag, the bag class. Well, here's the bundle. Right? 
Right, so then I've also got, maybe you're looking at that thinking, I would love to make the purses, but I don't really want to do the animals. You can do it as well. In here, I'm not going to tip all these out. You get the same handles. Oh, I, can, I can do it like this, can't I? You get, you get the same handles, and you just get the instructions for the purses, right? That's it. If that, because not everyone's going to want an animal on their on their purse, are they? So, 19.99. So there's the kit. There's the kit. 19 pounds and 99 pence. Now you may be thinking, I've already got the instructions. I just want the clasps. I just want the clasps. Well, you can do that as well. If you just want 10 clasps. Oh, you're going to sit on. You have to look at this one then. If you just want the 10 clasps. Do, 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 just these. 14.99. That's brilliant. One, two, three, four, ten. That's one pound forty-nine a clasp. Is that right? Yeah. One pound forty-nine a clasp. That's fantastic, isn't it? So that's that. What you will need, what you will need, I'll do this while I'm here, is you're always, always, always asking about this. The Guterman um, glue. Uh, this is what you use for textile glue. Don't you just have to use it for handbags, but why we love it for handbags is if you open this, this is narrow enough to fit inside the groove of the clasp, you see. That's why this one's so brilliant, and it flies out this. Every time we have this, it absolutely flies out. Four nine ten. So those are, all of those frames are glue-in frames, which I showed you here. They're all like the glue-in frames here, like that one. See? So I'm, I've given you every option I can do. The clasps on their own, the clasps just with the bag handle, the, cl uh, the clasps with just the instructions of the handbag, and the clasps with the instructions of the handle and the animals, and the glue, which have just dropped. Now, before I go on to fabrics, let me just do the handle that Joe used. Now, this one's a sewing handle, but this is the handle that Joe used to make that lovely bag. Here's the finished bag. 15, no thanks. Prim, prim old brass colored bag fastening. Now, that doesn't come with any instructions at all. So Joe is going to show you how to create the shape of that bag now. But before we go over, I promise we'll go over now. Um, before we go over, I just need to take you through the bundles of fabric I've got here. Right, first of all, this one. N no. Oh, okay. This here is the one that Joe used uh, to do the sample, make the sample with. You get two and a half meters of fabric, you get the flourish, you get the flourish in the bluey purple. You get the mosaic from the Flourish range, love it. You get the uh, citrus, you get the pale blue, and you get the deep orchid. Half a meter of each of those fabrics. Now, you might not even want to make, you might not even want to make a bag. You might just love. Now, obviously, what Joe's done to, for that one is she's added the black and white for the bull, um, French bulldog's face. But that's the, this is the bundle here. You might want to make something else out of it, might you? It's beautiful, isn't it? 23 pounds and 49 pence. Now, remember, if you buy two of them, they don't come joined together. If you're a new, a new customer, oh, have we heard from marketing yet as well? 23 pounds and 49 pence. There you go. Okay, you switched me off, Hannah. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Right, okay. What's next then? Okay, then I've got the one I had in front of me. Oh, actually, which one, which one are you using in the um, demonstration? Oh, I'll, I'll move to that one next then. Then I've got this one. I love this one. Look at that bamboo fabric. So you get bamboo, you get spot on, you get gingham, and you get black and white in that one. You see, that one would be perfect for the uh, bulldog one, wouldn't it? French bulldog one. 24 pounds and 49 pence for two and a half meters. All 100% cotton, all 44 inches wide. This is the one that Joe is going to be demonstrating in during this hour. Uh, you get the hairs fabric, you get the leaf fabric, red fabric, sand spot on, and uh, antique white. It's called Forest Walk. That's the one Joe's going to be demonstrating in. And then I've got one other, uh, with pattern, with pattern. Beth Studley fabric at the top, then you've got your bijou fabric, and then you've got two spectrum solids there. That's nice, isn't it? 
Oh, I'm, I'm finding it hard to choose a favorite in this show. Oh, it's only 21 99 that looks. Half a meter of each fabric. Remember? And then, if you want solid fabrics to make your animals or for your backings or for your linings or something like that, I've got a little bundle here. Um, um, you can choose any color by the half a meter off the website if you want, but we've just done a bundle together for you today. Um, so you get black, you get slate, you get mercury, you get sunflower, and you get, is it antique white or et cru? Antique white. Now, that was in another one. 15 pounds and 99 pence. Right, let's go and see Jo now then, because she's got some sewing to do, and I've talked for long enough, haven't I? Right. Hello. Morning. Love your shoes. Thank you. At home, I'll tell you about your shoes in a minute. We love this. I love making these bags. They're so right. quick to put together. It's what, sorry? It's quick to do. Oh, is it? Yeah. Because it looks quite complicated. But it's lovely. Now, the one thing I have got to say to you is the wooden colour on your handle may vary slightly. It may just vary slightly. So that's 15 like that. That's for your handle there. And then this one here... It's the two sets of instructions and the, the clasps that I showed you earlier. OK. Oh, there you go. I'll show you that. That's that bundle going across the bottom of the screen. OK. Right. So now you can get your messages through for Joe because everything's working now. Oh, now, hang on, hang on, hang on. Did, did, did we get a, re a reply from marketing for a start? OK, fine. Right. So okay. it's all yours. Oh, so you're, now th this handle, when you get this handle, it just comes attached to the... the cardboard in a plastic has no instructions with it. It doesn't, does it? no. So you're going to show us how to create the fabric for this shape for this bag, aren't you? Yes, really right. briefly, I'll go through it. Um, this is the way, the method I always do it. You can just trace around this and have, and use that as your top, the top of your template, but then you don't have much room in the bag. It goes, to create a bit of body to the bag, we just want to bring these sides, create a template that brings these sides out a little bit, so the fabric then Folds down. Folds in and creates a little bit of roundness to the bag. So now, if they buy the bundle with the bag instructions, the instructions of how to do this is in that, isn't it? It is. Yeah. And right. this is the method I always use yeah. for all of them. So, so if you've bought the bundle with the clasps in, then you'll get the instructions of how to do this anyway. But if, you, if you're just buying this, then you need to watch now. OK. I always start, I draw, because this is quite a wide frame, I'm using a bigger piece of paper and I'll just make half of the template right. and then I'll use that against the fold. Um, draw two lines, parallel lines, horizontally, two inches apart, and then I'm going to use this as my centre line. Okay. So I use the ruler for that. Why is this, does this ever change or is it always two, two inches it's, apart? I always use two, oh, it's okay. just my yeah. Go rule of thumb. Yeah. Yeah. And then the centre line, I'm going to position the frame, the purse frame, so line it up so it's positioned centrally, and then just trace around the top of the frame like that. So I've got one half of the purse frame there. And then to get this angle, to shape this line outwards, the method I use is just the width of the purse frame and mark it along the bottom line. Oh, okay, okay, so even though that's the centre of your pattern, you've done the whole width of the handle yes and the, the template won't be this wide it's just to get this angle here right, okay, okay and you could if you use once you use your ruler you could just yeah. use a 45 could you just degree. use a pencil to do it as well you could if you brought one what's this? with you in the trolley it doesn't show up oh, it's a enough pink one. Oh, okay um so i can no, it no, won't no, show okay. up so I'm that's why i've got the pink, Oh, I'll get, I'll get messages now pauline <laughs> says morning thanks you all for coming in to brighten my miserable day you're welcome pauline my love right and now i'm going to Join up this mark on the bottom line with the shoulder of the purse frame right. here. So I do that. This is the angle now. Right, going so you're not going to gonna cut your fabric that way. No. Right. And then put the frame back on, reposition it in the centre again, and then just pivot it around this new line and mark the edge okay. of the frame and then add your seam allowance, so these quarter of an inch. Right. And then this now, this area will be the top of our template and then using the center line to make sure it's straight although you could if you want to alter the shape you could have this side 
also shaped out, out with. Yes. So that will be my si the side of my template. And then just decide then how <coughs> deep Excuse you'd me. like yes. your bag to be. And whether you can have a box bottom or, because you'd have yes. to add on. Add a bit extra if you're going to box the bottom. I did on that one. Yeah. Excuse and so me, I'm going to cough. <coughs> right. So this, I mean, this is my, see, it's virtually identical, the template I use. Yes. Um, and I, that was the depth I chose. So that's the depth for this bag, is it? Yes. Yeah. So from this corner, it's about seven inches. OK. So if you wanted to replicate that one. So that's how I did the template. OK, perfect. So that, that becomes then your pattern piece. That's your pattern piece. And that... That's the centre fold, yeah. Yes. That fold. Well, see, it shows up better when... <laughs> is it working now? Yeah. Can you see it on the telly? I don't know if you can, though, look. Just means put on the fold, doesn't it? Yes. Right. OK, so next step, shall I do clamshells? Yeah, so, so we're now going to make this. We're now, now you've shown us how to do that pattern. Uh, you're now going to show us how to, how to create this. The look. embellishment yep, on it. Yeah, perfect. Because the template is for the lining and the exterior. Oh, of course, of course, of course. Um, clamshells, right, OK. There are two methods for doing the clamshells. Um, the instructions show the stitch based method. So cut out the template in card. I've done it in this red card, but I have checked that the die from this won't transfer to the fabric. Okay. It's something to be so careful So this is on. how it tells you to do it in the instructions, doesn't it? which is just coming over in a second. This template is the true size of the clamshell. I right. make a template from that and I add about three eighths, is it? That's bigger than a quarter of an inch. Yes. All around the outside. Yeah. And I actually make a template for that as well and cut them out. Oh, them okay, out okay. Out. So it's I just, just find it to easier. Yeah. So with this card template, for stitch basting, you can pop it in the middle and then just stitch around the outside. Just hand stitch like a gathering stitch. And it will. It'll just pull on that and it will just gather the edge around the template and you get a, a really nice, it takes longer, but you do get a really nice curve. You're going to need the iron on it. Mm. Yeah. I need a, a stand as well, in a white stand, please. I broke the, um, on your side, I pulled the thing off earlier and pulled the whole oh, no. lot off. Good morning, John and Joe. I have this purse making kit, but cannot get the template right. I've tried it 10 times and can't get it. Jane. Where are you having problems, Jane? Yes, Now's me... the best hour to message in, Jane, because we've got time to answer, answer your questions. Um, I'll just get this. Are you ready for this now? I am. Oh, Lorraine said the uh, instructions are a great help. I'm going to turn that up. But, right. Yeah, any questions, I'll try and... So I've gathered that up, and it's the fabrics. Looks like a little rosette, doesn't it, like that? It does. And give it a little... Oh, do you want to, sh do you want to have a look? Sorry. Sorry, I whipped that away too That's quickly. Right. So the gathering stitch, uh, Joe's just pulled the gathering stitch in and pulled it. There's a template in there. It does look very neat for just a... That's very even, your, your <laughs> um, stitches. And then you can just press then around that curve. On, now, so you're pressing on the non-gathered side. You're pressing on the I flat do. side, yeah. I just find it a little bit easier. Um, Obviously, I've not finished this thread and done a few. I've, this one's just quickly to demonstrate that oh, okay. technique. And then the other method, the one I use, actually, right. because it's faster. Yeah. Donna's lose, loving the use of the phonetic alphabet. Good job, Johnny. One job, Johnny. Right. Now, this, this, when I saw this for the first time, this fascinated me. So this is just normal kitchen foil, isn't it? It is. From my kitchen. Yeah, from your... From my... <laughs> and then give... A little bit of starch. I'm sorry, did I get you then? No, but you didn't get the fabric. You got the tin I foil. I got the fabric. I got the fabric tonight. Actually, it helps on the foil as well. Okay. Centre the template, and then use the foil to bring the fabric around the curve of the card template. Right. I do put starch on and then don't, so it's damp, so I do go through templates. Oh, but right, you will okay. do anyway. But that was best press you put on there. Is the best yeah. press available with us or is it in, on the website? Pop. 
Pop, pop to the website. Pop to the website for the um, best press. We do it in three different, um, f not flavors, scents: linen, fresh, not vanilla, lavender, and no scents. And it really does help yes. to get the crisp curve. So you've literally just pushed the, the, the foil. So in there, against this side of the foil is the fabric. It then is. you've got your template and you've literally you've literally used the um, the foil just to bend it over. It does the foil just hold the fabric yeah. around that curve and then give it to press. Okay. If you've got some sort of specially coated iron, do it through a pressing cloth. My irons, I've got an old one. What do you mean? We well, can't use a modern iron on it. Well, no, just in case you've got some coating on this, some non-slip, non-slide. Oh, I don't, okay. I don't know. my iron's tech is, yes. I don't want anyone to damage their iron and well, for it to be my fault. These, you've got these little ones on your desk, I have. we know that. And I do just use that straight yeah. on it. Hannah says it must be very difficult getting your iron out the fire every time you need it. <laughs> she didn't find that funny, Hannah. <laughs> Sorry. There we go, and it does, so it does the same job on the other side. It's done the same job. Well, we haven't taken all that. So it's literally just folded all the fabric over. You've got a really, really crisp yes. line. And it's quite a fast way of doing it. Okay. So I've prepped some there. Okay, brilliant. So that's the foil and stitch method. Um, okay, for this one, I'm trying to make sure I do things in the right order. Do you want the instructions? <laughs> it might help. Oh, no, hang on. With, uh, with now, so hang on. The instructions for... for the bag were in this one, weren't they? To make the actual, um, the pattern. And then, because obviously this bundle that's going up here has got both these. The, what you're doing now, the instructions are in here. So the clamshells are in here, aren't they? They are, so that's the stitch technique. Right. So the only way to get these clamshell instructions is in this bundle, where you get the two instructions and the clasps, the little silver clasps. There you go, 24.49. So we're, we're going off piece now with this bag that you're doing here. Yes. Yeah. A little bit. Okay. Um, from the template, I've cut out two exterior pieces. Uh, now, the template that you made, has it got seam, won't have seam allowance on it, will it? It does. It has a quarter inch. Down the sides. All around. And we'll seam, sew the top together as well. The lining and the exterior sewn together. But didn't you just do the shape of your, oh, you did the top of the handle, not the bottom of the handle. Yes, but it's fine. It still yeah, works yeah, out. Yeah, it still works right. Okay. No, that's what I mean. If you do the top, then it gives you that extra where the handle is. It gives you that extra little it, quarter inch at the top, doesn't it? Yeah. It's not quite the, the full quarter inch, but yes, it okay. will. Um, so this is the, your main fabric. So you, the one you're doing here is the equivalent to this. Yes, that pink one. Uh, deep orchid. Sorry, deep orchid. Deep orchid, yes. yeah. Now, it's the pattern for the back. So that would be the back. It's, it's if exactly you're the use same. That fabric on the back, it's the same one. Then. So if you wanted just a plain bag, you just would go straight to the assembly in the bag okay. stage. Okay. With that one, I used iron-on interfacing on the back of the exterior and nothing on the lining. Iron-on interfacing on the back of the exterior and nothing on the lining. Here's the interfacing. Linda says, I'm a new viewer this week, recovering from an operation. Oh, Linda. Um, need to get well soon as I'm before I'm banked up. Thanks <laughs> to everyone for keeping me amused. Great show. Thank you. You get better soon, Linda, my lovely, in Nottinghamshire. Uh, 2 99 There's the uh, interfacing, 2 99 You've seen that, okay, right? And just Next. cut with the template again. And so this time, that one, I put the interfacing on the back of the front. The that, back that, of that, the... That wasn't right. The back of the exterior. So yes, better, yeah, yeah. Um, with this one, I'm going, I've done it for the lining. So I've popped the interfacing on the lining. Oh, OK. And I'll quilt. I'll do this one on some wadding. Oh, OK. So it'll give it a bit of extra body, a bit of extra structure to this bag. Wadding. Premium polyester craft wadding, two ninety nine for a metre squared. It was only I thought there was more than that in there. Oh no, metre squared, two ounce weight. Okay, next. Now there's a couple of ways of doing this. I'll move that out of the way. If you didn't want to add the wadding at this point, and I would probably do it this way just for ease. Um, apply the clamshells, sew them on without anything on the back. Oh, with, just, with no stabiliser or anything on the back of it. And then you can add a little bit of quilting, or actually. If you just basted it around the side, because it's small, you probably wouldn't need to quilt it. You could just have it inside as that layer between the lining oh, okay. Okay. and the front. The line, yeah, the lining and the front. <laughs> What's the matter with you today? I'm just it's making sure. You've got your hair in a higher waffle <laughs> look today. Right. Okay. I want the centre line for this, so I'm going to. You fold haven't got it any animals off. yet, though. Do you not make an animal yet? 
I'm going to, I'll do that as I'm going. Oh, okay. Um, for this one, I've chosen to do the lion, so I've cut out some ears. Well, that's good, because this is the forest walk bundle that we're using, so it's good that you're doing a lion. You get lions in the forest. No, 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 I'm being, <laughs> no, no, I'm being serious. Do you know what? When I went to South Africa to do Ghost in the Darkness, right, I arrived really, really late at night, and the driver picked me up and dro dropped me off in my little mud hut where I was living and everything, and then he said, I'll be back to collect you in the morning, and he didn't come back, and I didn't know if it was safe to walk out, to walk to the offices, which were miles away, in case a lion jumped on me. Well, and then when I told them that in the office, they looked at me like I was absolutely <laughs> crazy. Because we were in a game reserve, so you'd think a yeah. lion could come out. But they're obviously not going to let the lions walk where we were living. The snakes but, were there, but no lion. Oh. I know. Go on. But the same... Yeah, no, I wouldn't have moved. I'd have no. stayed hidden away from... Any potential lion? No, exactly. Um, now, what, the yellow that you're using has come from your own stash, hasn't it? Or you could buy the other bundle. The yellow's not in the bundle itself. It is. And with this, if I'm going to put the animal on, I'm going to have it off-centred like that one. So I've done the centre line, and I'm going to position it to one side of the centre. If you right. wanted it in the centre of the bag, just alter the layout of the clamshells. Yes. So I'll pop... I've got the centre line there. I'm going to press this in half as well. Just by finger. Just finger pressing, and then that helps with adding the rows, the subsequent rows. Right. And then I want these so that the ears don't get caught in the frame when it's attached. I want it about two inches down. Right. From the top of. Oh yeah, so you want it too high because you've got ears and things. Have they Do all got ears? Has the owl got ears? I think the owl has got ears. Yeah, I've not done the owl in a while. Oh yes, little little ears. Oh, yes, because the lion's got the most... Because it's got its mane as well, hasn't it? But I suppose the biggest ears are the, uh, the French bulldog and the rabbit, aren't they? You've got all those in, in your... Tem all those templates that come in your, in your pattern. So I'll pin this in position, just so I know. This will have to come off in a minute, because I've added iron on in, um, adhesive, bond web, to the back of oh, this. Oh, have you? Do you have some in she's added bond, Oh, yes, I've got bond web. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, she's added bond web. I've got bond web. It's been very busy, the bond web, the last few days, hasn't it? It's the first thing I ever made was cushion using bond web at Wimbledon School of Art, yeah. Was it? Actual project. We had to do seams first, and then we did... Uh, I've still got it somewhere. So I'm checking that that fits nicely behind. The centre yes. lines up with the centre, and I'll just give that a quick press on now, just to grab it. Don't you, you need to do the ears yet? No? No, just the backing. So. The ears go in front of them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the ears are fixed in place. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jane sandwich. couldn't get the side seam. The side seam. So, I'll come back to it, Jane. I'll definitely come back to it. I'll keep that out so we remember. It's the side... I just can't get the... I'm still... Learning. Don't... Jane, do not apologise. Do not, she's put sorry at the end of a message. Don't apologise. We'll explain it before the end of the show, I promise you. Even though we're halfway through. <laughs> we're halfway through already. Yes. Right, so I'll pop one of these next to it, so I'll give this a press. So you, all you've, you haven't attached the uh, clamshell. You've literally, all you've done is attach the mane on, onto the back of the fabric. Yes, and I'll pin these in place. And then I've made the ears, and it's just two pieces, right sides together. Sew around the curve, and then clip V-shaped notches. Right. In the curve. Oh, and then so you've not made the back bigger than... No, the back smaller than the front. It's not like you when you do on your toys to give them a pleat. No, I've tried to keep these a little bit more yes. straightforward. And because they're going to overlap, we want them meeting sort of three-eighths of an inch above. Right. But I'll pin these on, and then with the ruler, I'll check that they line up because it's important, especially if you're going to do the mini quilt. Use the ruler all the way through yes. to make sure they're all even. Because these edges won't necessarily line up perfectly because we've positioned... You won't get the template in exactly the same position every time. Pop a red one in. Oh, now, how close to your... Oh, do some of them run off the edge? If they run off the edge, that's fine, because we'll trim it down in a bit. Actually. This was not by design. It just happened that these fitted on really nicely oh, okay. on this template. Uh, John, I'm stuck at work. Need to get Joe Carter's new pig. Can I order now? Because we'll have to go on shift. Oh, no, sir. You can't, sir, until we've played the graphics, I'm afraid. Oh, no. How many have we got, Hannah? Do you know? 
Oh, Sarah, we've done loads. We have done loads and loads of the pig because we know people want it. Um, oh, you could always, I tell you what you could do, Sarah, at, it's in the 11 o'clock hour, isn't it? At yes. five past 11, so I'm just popping for the ladies, just need to powder my nose, ring the call centre. Can you not have it up on the corner? You well, if you're stuck at work, you could order on the web. Nobody's going to know in the office. Not that I'm condoning, you know, <laughs> using the work office, Hannah, to do things you shouldn't be doing. <laughs> or you can go to the loo, give a quick call. Not that I've done any of these things myself, of course. Right, so I've just used the ruler to make sure these line up. The red one's a little bit high, so I'll just move it down. And it seems quite fussy moving it down that much. And for a bag, it is really. It doesn't matter that much. But if you were doing a quilt, you'd have yes. to make sure. Because the further you move down, the more any imperfections show up. Yes, exactly. Yeah, because you've only got two and, a half, two and a bit rows on the, on the bag, haven't you? Yeah, there's not much on there. And I've popped the ears behind, making sure there's a good seam allowance. And I'll pin those in position. And then ne next, I will just sew around the curve okay, all these I'll, edges. Uh, so when we get those to the machine, I'll go, uh, we'll watch you do the first one, then I'll go over and do bundles, if that's all right. Okay. So now, do you just do, just sew the first row? You don't pin the next row then? You only sew the first row to first? Sew them a row at a time. Yeah. And then, so I'll start at this side, and I'll uh, try and do this quickly. Well, no, no, you need to do it quickly. If you just start the first one, then you've got the whole time while I'm doing bundles to do. Should I do the us. next row after that, or? No, no, just sew that, sew, sew that one, and I'll okay. be back by that. But I just want you to see, the, see you do the first one. And you don't, it's a row of curves, but you don't have to do them all in one go. If you stitch down here, and then start this one, and you don't feel it's going very well, you just unpick back to this point, because yeah. that will be covered up. And we won't see the back, because no, it's inside it's lying, the back. isn't it? Joe, your hair looks fabulous down. Oh, thank you. Love in the purse. And John, I just love you. You're a ray of sunshine. Oh, Rachel, thank you. Yes, it takes much longer, because I take, a, take the mickey out of Joe's picture that's on all her patterns, going, oh, look at your long hair. But actually, your hair's quite long, isn't it? It is quite long. The machine, I think the machine's beeping, because all of our experts try and press the pedal before, before. It's, before it's ready. So now you've got no stabiliser behind, so you do have to be careful the back fabric doesn't ruckle, don't, don't you? You do. It's actually easier if you interface this yeah. back bit. So you could do that as well. Oh. All right. Thank you. Right, I'm going to go over there and do bundles now. Only okay. stitch. Only do this row. So then, yeah. Okay. Did you know, yesterday I found out you can um, switch that beeping noise off if, you, if it gets on your nerves. Can you? No. Have I got what? Oh, no. Sorry. Right. Well, that wasn't one. Oh, yes, it was. Right, uh, so what am I doing first? Right, the, the bundle to get the instructions for both, the, for the handbags and the mini and the mini quilt. Yeah, it's the only way. This is the only way you can get this one, basically. The only way you can get this one. Uh, it's got all the, I'll show you in a minute, but then you get, you get the 10 class, five, oh, there it is, there. And then if I just show you inside here, so if you're either making a bag or a mini class, half the stock of this, this bundle's gone, by the way. So it shows you in the, in the instructions how to do the clamshells, but then you've got a template for all the animals, the teddy bear, the lion, the bunny, the owl, the raccoon, and the French bulldog. They're all in there, you get all those. So, so whether you're making the bag, or the one that Joe's making, but these will come with the clasps of those, you see. So there's the rabbit and the raccoon there. They do have, uh, if you want to put a little chain on them, some, <laughs> some of them do, some of them don't have a little chain, a little hole here for you to put a chain on if you want to, or a ribbon or something like that. Or if you want to make the mini quilt. Look, now one's much, one's, why, now why is, the rabbit smaller than the uh, French bulldog one. Um, because I made the rabbit one, and somebody else made the French bulldog. Oh, you didn't make the French bulldog one. I made that one. Oh, no. so that's one you made. It is. Who made that oh, one? It's a different size template. I did a 
rabbit and the teddy bear. Oh, here we go. The rabbit and the bulldog are different size templates, so you're going to end up with a different size. So the clamshells, the, oh no, the clamshells are different sizes as well. Well, I don't know. We'll find out for you anyway. We've got loads to sort out in this, haven't we? Anyway, anyway, so if you want that and that and that and that, that half the stock of those have gone. Right, now, if you just want the purse instructions and the class, which is this bundle now here, so you still get the 10 clasps and the instructions of how to make the fabric purses for the clasp, £19.99. There you go. If you just want the 10 clasps on their own, you don't, you've already had the instructions or you don't need the instructions or you're going to take the instructions from Joe's demonstration then, these can be bought on their own. You may have already, got, like, like lots of you, hundreds of you, might already have the instructions. So you can buy all of it, 14, four, that's £1.49 and a bit for each clasp. Now, to do those clasps, you need to glue in. So I've got the glue here. It's a fabric textile glue. But why we love this, like I said earlier, is the nozzle is slim enough the nozzle is slim enough to fit inside there when you glue them on. Half the stock, see, I told you, every time we get bring this on air, it sells, right? Half the stock, half the stock of today's has gone, and we had loads. Right? Then the handle to make the bags that Joe's doing. We've gone, uh, Joe's got a bit off, gone a bit off piece. It's not Joe's fault. We just do what we're told. Finished bag with the handle on there. 15 99 Obviously, you just get the handle. You don't get the finished bag. £15.99. Right, if you want to make that, that one that Joe's already made, now, you do have to supplement the black and... If you're gonna, well, if you're going to do the, the, the little animal, you'd have to supplement it with your own stash. Uh, if you want to put a different colour, so if you just want your, your, um, your back of your bag, your lining, and your clamshells... Can make that, that now. Hannah's got a good idea. She's put, just doing clamshells, and she said, "There's a chameleon in it. Can you find it?" Joe doesn't understand. So uh, in this bundle, you get two and a half meters of fabric. There we go. So you get half a meter of the flourish. Flourish. You get half a meter of the mosaic from the flourish range, and you get the three spectrum solids: the deep orchid, the blue, and the uh, citrus. 23, this is the one that Joe used, but she obviously put some black and white in to make the, um, to make the dog. Right, the one that Joe is using now, which is a woodland walk, isn't it? Forest walk, even. You get uh, half a metre of the hairs, half a metre of the leaves, half a metre of the red, half a metre of the sand spot on, and half a metre of the antique white. £24.99. pence. Okay, then I've got this lovely orange um, golden bundle, this one. This is the one, Hannah, with the one that's pressed. Summer sunset, this one's called. Yeah. Does it look like that when the sun sets over your house, Hannah? No. Uh, so you get the designer fabric, half a metre. Uh, it's best studly, isn't it? Yeah, best studly uh, designer fabric. Then you get the two bijoux in the crimson and the gold, and then you get the two... The white and the yellow fabric there, half a metre of each, £21.99. And then my last patterned one is this one here, bundle. Bamboo, bamboo, that looked lovely, wouldn't it? With, oh, with bamboo with the panda, have you got pandas in there or not? No, no? oh, forget that then, never mind. Bamboo with the spot, the gingham and the black and the white, £24.49. And then if you do want a plain bundle, maybe to make your animals with, or even just do a plain, bundle, plain uh, bag, this one uh, comes with five spectrum solids, two and a half metres in total, black, grey, slate, yellow, and white. Okay? Right. Okay, let's go back then. Right. So what have you done next then? So I've stitched this row on. Yeah. And then I'm just pinning the next row below it, so making sure that the joins fall in line with the Oh, that's why you put in the centre line. I couldn't figure out why you're putting in the centre line, but I see. It doesn't really help. And these ones will overlap and have to be trimmed yes. off later. They're the half ones. Uh, the bundle with 
Both instructions is almost sold out, just so you know. So this bundle we're using here with these two and the little silver clasp, silver coloured clasps. Here it is. There's the still, that's almost sold out, just so you know. And that's the only way, that's the only way you can get the animals on the quilt, the mini quilt pattern, the clamshells pattern. Let's pin these on quickly and then stitch this row on. Okay. Um, this is the way, I'll, the face goes on at the end. Right. Um, before stitching this on, you might, or you can do it later on, stitch around the edge of the mane, or you can use felt with the one that I didn't finish. Um, that had a felt oh, mane. Oh, does it? So there's different options. The, not the one you didn't finish, the one that was in, in um, prep. Yeah, it? the dev, yes, it was a... So this one that the... Um, the mane is made out of felt, so you wouldn't need to... Oh, so now it's not stitched down, that so one. So that one's free. Yeah. Free. Born free, as free as the wind blows, as they say. We did go for very different songs, because what did you go for? Everybody's free! It's what Hannah went for. <laughs> they, they line up, so I'll sew these okay. ones on. And this is the same method for doing the mini quilt. Right. I wouldn't quilt it, I wouldn't add the wadding until yes. all these are on. Okay. Oh, see, so when you're making the mini quilt, you're not, you're not, you haven't got the wadding behind these when you're putting the clamshells on. No, I then quilt them afterwards, oh, okay. once they're all in place. Oh. That'd be a bit easier, I suppose, wouldn't it? Uh, anyway, shall we go back to, was it Lynn who asked about the side? No. Jane. We'll find it and then I'll show you how to do the side seam on this. Was Jane, thank you, Tim. Right, Jane, very quickly, while Joe's, while Joe's sewing that, I'll try and remember how she did this. So, she, she's drawn two lines across here at two inches across, uh, from each other. All right, so you've got your two lines there. This line here is your, your center, so when you're gonna put it on the fold. So what you do first of all, is you put the center of the clasp on the paper and just draw around right the way to the end there. What you then do is then to get where your side seam is gonna go, to get extra fabric, you turn, no, you draw a line, you draw a line from that point to, now how do we get this measurement here? That one is, have we done the frame? The width of the whole, that's it, the width of the whole bag, that's it. So the width of the whole clasp, oops, goes there, which you give, which gives you your finished line there. Then what you do is that's not where your side seam's going to go, because then what you do is you then take your clasp from the centre point there, you spin it up to there, so that comes to there, and then you add your seam allowance on, and your seam allowance is then where you draw that line down for your side seam. Now that's just to make it into a straight bag, to make it a, a seven inch straight bag with, a, with a, an, um, a box bottom. To make the bag we've made with a box bottom, you need that to be seven inches long. You can also, if you want to, shape it out like that if you want a bag that flares out at the bottom. I hope that helped, Jane, I hope that helped. That was right, wasn't it? It was. Yeah. So I put those on. Oh, uh, okay, the bundle with the two sets of instructions is now sold out. Right, okay, in the graphics is this handle. Oh, across the bottom. Are the instructions with the purse handles as well. No animals left now, I'm so very, very sorry about that. Right. And then it's just the last row, should I not, we've got the yeah, idea yeah, with that now. Carry, so, yeah. Last row, and then trim these off. What you could do if you didn't want to, if you just want to do two rows, put another strip of fabric, press the end oh, over. Yes, I've done yes, that in yes, the past. Yes. I think the raccoon purse I did that. Um, so it was just yes. two lots of, and then a, a strip to cover these raw edges. Um, so when you do your box, oh, I'll let you carry on. So once we're at that stage, the line space, before we add the wadding, the line space needs to go on. Yes. And this, I've again added bonder web to the back of the nose. And it helps to have a piece like this to work. You've got the centre point to work from, uh, work the embroidery around. So I've got, I can see that finger press line as well, so I know where the centre is. So fuse the nose on. And then 
draw its face, a bit of a smile. So the Bond web was across the bottom, now the pen's coming across the bottom. Okay. So this pen will just sponge away later, but use these lines as a guide. So you do that at this point now? Yes, at yeah. this point. Okay. And then when all that's done, the nose yeah. might come off. So you can pop it on here and quilt. If it was a mini quilt, I would then make the quilt sandwich to have the backing fabric as well. Yeah. And I quilt following the tops. Oh, uh, uh, the tops, not the line of stitches. You go above the top, like stitching the ditch almost. Yes, yeah, so yeah. you get that lovely clamshell quilting on the on back. On the back as well. Um, so if you're, making, if you're making a quilted handbag, would you do that? You wouldn't do that, would you? You could do that if you wanted. Yeah. Um, you wouldn't see the quilting on the back, so you wouldn't necessarily need to put no. any sort of lining no, exactly. on. Or you could just then base this around the edges. Yeah. So it Obviously, you can use whichever wadding. wadding you want as well. Don't go too thick, though. I wouldn't go too thick on it, would no, you? No, no. Okay. Right. So what's next? So I'd base this on. Should I do that and then trim it down to size? Yeah. So. Yeah. Jane, thank you so much for fixing my problem. I'll give it a go later, but thank you again for all... Oh, you're all fabulous. Oh, Jane, thank you. Laurie's messaging... Oh, it's, it's Laurie from Suffolk. Morning, John and Joe. As usual, I'm loving Joe's demo. So clear and concise. Made it look easy. I like Joe's hair down, too. Was thinking doll from yesterday had... And then it runs out, Laurie. So, was thinking that the doll from yesterday had... She had Joe's hair, didn't she? She had that... Um, I said that, didn't I? It had Joe's hairline. I modelled all my, well, no, my hair today, styles on Dolly. heavy fringe today. Oh, no, so it's not the same as the mermaid hair, then. So it must have been the same as the ballerina hair. Where is, where's the ballerina gone? Oh, have you taken the ballerina home? No. Oh, now, did you bring back in what you took home last time? I've not brought... No, not quite. I I'd normally finish things. It depends how busy I've been. Yeah, slip my mind. Oh, it's at my mum's house. You get your mum to do what you're finishing for you. She's oh, busier than I am. What she did? Oh yes, she was, was. She was getting a kit the other day, wasn't she? Um, what's she up to then, your mum? At the moment, what yeah. she's saying at the moment. I think she's working on a quilt at the minute, but um, various bag projects. She's prolific, isn't she? She, is. like, she, she makes, and she's a librarian. Yes. She's an emergency a, librarian. Is there such a thing as an emergency librarian? She's like librarian? A, super, a substitute librarian. Oh, uh, like a supply teacher? Yes. Oh. So, so somebody rings in sick? Well, she has... Some libraries don't have full cover, so the set days she does at some. Oh, okay. But she doesn't have a permanent library. Oh. If that makes sense. Yeah. She sort of does the rounds. Oh, but the books might be all in different places. She's... Well... Do they still use the Dewey Decker? I love a library. To... It's a shame, isn't it, that they're getting abused now. So normally you'd use a big pair of scissors to do this, would you? I would. And possibly I was cutting something out on the desk outside and left them there. What do you need? What do you need? It's fine. These oh, I see. Oh, I see. So you've left your big scissors out <laughs> yeah. there. Yeah. So use big scissors for this. Yeah. Although these are not bad. No. What's, ha what's Hannah saying? Oh, yeah, the pen that Joe used, yeah. Uh, upside down. A few people had a few problems putting this in their basket, so there's the pen. Hemline wipe off fabric marker in brown. I'd say it was more terracotta. £2.49. pence. Right, look at the time, Joe. We're nearly done. Okay, so finish the bag, do the same, apply the wadding to that one as well. Right. Right sides together, sew them together around the sides and the bottom for the lining. So, yes, yeah, so you make that into the. the well, like this, you make that into... So that'd be like that then, wouldn't it? Yes. Yeah, so um, that's the outside of the bag. And box the corners. And you, box, and you box the corners on this one as well, fine. With those, I've measured for an inch from the corner. OK. Um, but with box corners in. Yeah. And the lining, sew them together, but leave the opening in the bottom. And then right sides together. Box corners in that box one Box the well. corners, yeah. treat it exactly the same way as the exterior. Yeah. And then sew them together around the top so there are no raw edges. The top that goes into here isn't a raw edge. They're sewn together around the top and then turned out the right through way. The, through the hole, Through yes. the bottom. OK. And so, then, so the top edge, when you put the lining, this that top edge is finished because it's got the lining stitched there. So that's a completely finished seam at the top. Right. Close the opening in the bottom. And then to fit them, if you've got the glue in frames... You've got three minutes. No one's to rush oh, right, you, okay. so you find Don't waste not 30 was seconds. Is that really going for it, then? Um, the glue in frames, apply some glue all the way around the channel 
leave it to go off a little bit. Right. And then stick one side in, but wait for it to dry before you put the other one in. Would Otherwise, you do that on this one? Even though this has got sewing holes, would you still also glue it, or would you just sew this one? I'd just sew it, just in case some glue squeezes out of the holes. Right. What I do is, because I finger-pressed, the I know where the centre is for this, yeah. And I line that up, I know where the centre hole is because of the clasp. And I put, if you've got a big safety pin, put that through and hold that in position at the start, oh, okay. in the centre, and it just makes it easier. I mean, you could put a few in, I just do the centre. Do you know what might so it work? Holds into I position. wonder if the holes are big enough. You know that um, we've got that stitch tool? Oh, that would be really good. I wonder if they would fit through that. I'm going to, Hannah, in, when we go to prep afterwards, you know the stitch tool? The Kimball tag thing. You could almost, yeah, we don't, we call it a tool, don't we? Is it called a tool? And we can see if it's thick, because what you could do is to hold it in place. You could put a few of the stitch tool through a few of those holes, and then it would hold it in place, wouldn't it? And then I just used embroidery thread to stitch through. And you could, I like the detail. I like the detail on the inside, actually, just doing one layer. But when you go back, you can fill in. You can go reverse back and fill in the other stitches. But I quite like how it... Oh, no, I quite like that with the gaps in it, but... So Joe's just done every other one like that, but you could go back and fill in the others. And then you've also, so then, then you've got your contrast stitch then on the inside as well. Now, what happens, lots of people always ask, what happens when you get to the end here on this one, right? You stitch the end there. I just sew a few little stitches and make, oh, you want the seam at the side to fall in the center of the clasp. And then how does it stay, how does it stay in place? It just stays, there because of the stitching either side. So that bit is a little bit loose. Oh, if and you that look. Bit, but you've not got any raw edges because you've stitched because you've all stitched the way it. around it anyway. It's a finished it's a finished edge anyway. And that one this one finishes quite flush to the clasp. Yeah. Even if it sticks out a little bit, as long as it's even, the seam is it looks fine. Perfect. Is there anything else we need to talk about? Because we're just about to finish. No, no I don't oh. think so. I think that's okay. everything. Now you're back in uh, an hour. I am. With the pig in a tutu. It is. Uh, there's one on the shelf over there and there's one on the two. Now, I've turned it into a boy pig and done a, an Elizabethan ruffle around oh, the neck. Oh, like a choir pig. Like a choir mm, pig, because no. they can't all be girls, can they? They can't. Uh, it's one of the most eagerly awaited Joe Carter uh, toy, soft toys. We were, oh yeah, we're taking, oh well, there's a, there's, I don't know if it's a competition, but there's something on Facebook our marketing department have done saying, name the pig, name the pig. I'll see you in an hour. Okay. I'm just gonna go and do um, that bundles. Right. So, the bundle where you get both instructions is sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out. Now this one, we have this, where you get the, the, the clasps, 10 clasps, and the instructions of how to make a purse and draw up the pattern, draft the pattern for the purses. So you can just make plain purse in there, or you can decorate them as you want. There's the bundle, 19 pounds and 99 pence. Right, now, a lot of you already got the instructions, you want more clasps, the clasp just on their own. This is a fantastic price, right? You get 10 clasps, right? Five designs, two of each design, all in the silver finish, 14.99. That's one pound 49.9 pence, isn't it? Uh, uh, one pound 49.9. Brilliant, you get all of those. The glue, now, oh, right. When you all check out from the glue, there are fewer than 10 of those left. And we had, I can tell you now, we had over 100 of these. 4.99. And there's lots in baskets. So if you've got it in your basket, you definitely want it, please check out. Only telling you, only telling you for your own good because I don't want anyone to miss out. The handle that Jo used, which is a sewing handle and she doesn't use the glue, is this one. The Prim Antique Brass, I think, isn't it? This one's called. My um, fruit is the fruit platter as well. Isn't it that brilliant? Thanks. Fifteen ninety nine. All these bundles are underneath me here. The one that Joe made a sample from is the most popular, which is this one, the Flourish one. There you go. So you get half a meter of the Flourish Flourish, half a meter of Mosaic flourish, and then three spectrum solids, the deep orchid, the blue, and the citrus. That makes that. Now, all you have to do, you have to add from your stash, 
the black and the white for the dog. But you might, well, the thing is, we didn't want to bundle it because you might want to put the rabbit on there and you might not want a black and white rabbit. Mate. You might want to have a different colored rabbit. So we've all got a bit of stash, haven't we, to make the other animal. They all, you will have lots left over to play with. All of these bundles are listed below me there on the website. So please check on those. Um, and anything for the first half, you missed out. Is it all through there now? Or is it, will it be put through there in a minute? We'll just finish doing that in a second. Okay, uh, don't go anywhere, because I have got, coming up after the break, Liberty Fabrics. Gorgeous, gorgeous, good Liberty Fabrics. And I've got bundles. I've got, uh, not mega bundles, uh, semi-mega bu mega bundles. And uh, I'll tell you about the new customer offer when I come back, because it's just, it might have changed. I'll see you in three. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. So I'm going to be showing you how to do a hem stitch. Now a hem stitch is just a row of small slanting stitches that are used to secure your hem. So in this case I'm pretending that this is going to be the bottom of a trouser leg. I'm first going to take my needle through the single hem. I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail before I place that back down. Then I'm going to do a double stitch. Now this is just where you sew over the same area twice so you're creating a, a knot. That's one, two. So that's securing my thread now. And now we can begin doing our hem stitch. So you're going to need to bring your needle in at a diagonal. So you want to pick up a few stitches from what would be the trouser leg before then going into your hem. So you can make this stitch a little bit bigger. And then repeating that process again at a diagonal, I'm going to be picking up a few stitches of the trouser leg. And then we can pick up more of the single hem. So I'm making these stitches super big so you can see what I'm doing. But when you do this at home, you'd want to make these a little bit closer together. So there's my row of hem stitching and if I just turn this over you can see the very small stitches on the other side so if you're doing this in a normal thread and not a thick thread you won't be able to see those at all. Create your very own stained glass masterpiece with Angie Atwood on Sunday the 29th of April. Angie Atwood joins us at 9am sharing this delicate fairy tale esque stained glass block which creates the most beautiful wall hanging. The stylish pattern is a perfect project for an intermediate quilter using applique and binding techniques to echo the curves and petals of a single rose. With striking bundles to choose from using lavender and Tiffany blue shades, you'll be seeing the world through rose tinted glasses with this inspirational quilt kit. Join us on Sunday the 29th of April at 9am for an hour of stained glass quilts and tips and techniques with Angie Atwood only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 678. Follow us on Twitter for more inspiration, top tips, news, and share your own creations with us. Don't forget, shopping with us is easy and simple. You can just contact us at 0800 112 4433 and speak to our UK-based call centre to place an order. Or shop online with us at www.sewingquarter.com. My word, 
That was a bit of a shocker, wasn't it? Anyway, 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 we're all ready, we're all ready, we're all ready. What I need to tell you as well, if you're a new buyer, and we've had lots of you already come in this morning, if you spend £10 or more on your first purchase, you will automatically get a free present from us. You don't need to do anything. If it's your first purchase, over £10, not including post and packaging, you get this. You get two metres of randomly selected fabric with your first order. So that's just a free gift from us to say welcome to the Sewing Quarter family. However, if you're a first-time buyer and you spend £20, over £20, um, you'll also get this. Uh, now, what you have to do with this, though, is you have got a code that you need to put in. Uh, the code is key fob. I'll show you here, look. So what you need to do is, if you, first of all, if you spend over £10, you automatically get the fabric anyway. You don't need to worry about that. If you spend over £20, not including your post packaging, that this key fob kit is worth £32, but you have to put key fob into the box when you check out. And this is it. This is the kit here. But you need to put the key fob in. Now, if you've bought something, if you're a new buyer and you've bought over £20 in the first two hours, and you didn't know about that, then please just ring the call centre and they'll sort it out for you. Because obviously we didn't tell you about it in the first two hours. So in the first, if you did buy a first, if you were a first time buyer and spent 20 pounds or more in your, uh, and you didn't ask for this, didn't put this in, just ring the call centre and they'll sort it out for you. That's that. The second thing I need to tell you about it, because we had no graphics in the first hour, we had lots and lots and lots of issues. So if you've been to the website and it's saying sold out, it not necessarily is sold out. So um, these, for example, which I love, these are the ironing rulers. You get both of them in the packet. There were some issues about these going into baskets earlier today or, so, or when you rang the call centre. So now they're back in stock. They are available. They're £7.99. They're prim ironing rulers. If you, want, if you don't know what they are, please watch the 8 o'clock show because I did a little demonstration about them. $7.99. And you get to see me doing the non and real phonetic alphabet. Now, the other thing you need to know is, while stocks last, I've got a special offer. 50% off sewing quarter own brand. Now, I know you're going to look at that and you're going to go, where's the road to cut away? scissors? All those have sold out. All those other things have sold out. This is what I've got left. The little rulers sold. Oh, yeah, the little rulers sold out now as well. Oh, I'll tell you about that in a minute. I'll tell you about that in a minute. This, oh, yeah, this ruler here. Oh, it's here. I didn't see it. I'll do it first. I'll do this first then. Now, I thought, oh, God, I didn't see it. It was camouflage on the floor. We thought it was a, yes, well, I can all I tell you is I've got four left. So if you really, really, really want the six and a half by six and a half inch ruler, was $7.99, now $3.99, you need to ring now or you need to put it in your basket and check out immediately. But remember, putting it in your basket doesn't guarantee it until you've checked out. There are only four of those left. Hundreds have sold every single day. Hundreds. In fact, when we started yesterday, we had fewer than we'd sold every other day. That, I presume those four people just didn't check out their baskets because we thought that had gone yesterday. It's $3.99, but there's only four. There's only four of those. I'll stay with rulers if that's all right. This ruler is fantastic because it's 24 inches long. So when you fold a piece of fabric that's 44 inches wide in half, you can rotary cut a straight the way across the fabric. It's six inches wide, 24 by six. It was 13 pounds and 99 pence. It's now six pounds and 99 pence. Now remember, these are only wild stocks last. They're inch increments with quarter inch increments going across, going in the black and in the bright yellow. Uh, you've got the bright yellow markings around the outside. These are not like creative grids. They don't have the resin, the resin uh, non-slip on them. But first of all, a lot of you, use, a lot of you are used to using ones with non-slip. But also, we sell the little grips on our website that you can put on your ruler to stop them um, moving. That was thirteen ninety nine. Now six ninety nine. Brilliant. Now the big one, the root, the big one. That what Joe's just been using this. one. It's just come from Joe's table there. I can't tell you how many of these we've sold. Cannot tell you how many hundreds of these we've sold this week. We only started this on Monday, and it's only while stocks last. So you've got inches across the bottom and inches up the side. Now, those squares, they're not centimetre squares. They're half-inch squares. They're half-inch squares. Look at the saving. I know it's 50%, but 39 99 is what you would have paid for this. 
Wild stocks last 19 pounds and 99 pence. It's got the squares on it. It's got the angles on it. It's fantastic, isn't it? Look at the size of it. 55 by 85 centimetres. It's silly, isn't it, really? It's, that's the one that the only one they, oh, they don't put it in inches, but it's, um, was it 36 or 35, something like that? 36, measures 34, and it measures 22. They're the actual measurements of it. I know, fantastic. 19.99, I have to put that down. Okay, then I've got this one, the self-healing mat in this size. A1 size, I think this is, isn't it? Is that A1? I think it's A1, isn't it? Second quarter, oh, A3, sorry, not A1. It's A3, A1's the huge one, isn't it? So I do apologise. A3, self-healing cutting mat, 42 by 26 and a half centimetres. Half price was 19.99. Oh, it's now £9.99. Not only while stocks last, though, self-healing mat. It's got the inches and the half inch increments on it. It's got the angles on it. It's a self-healing cutting mat. And it's now half price at £9.99. pence. Right, now, last but not least, if you like that size, but you like the opaqueness, these have all got the same quarter branding on them. Look, I'm turning it right the right way. Now, this one, if you've bought nothing from... Oh, how many of them have I got, by the way? If you buy this and you're a first-time buyer, you will automatically get two metres of fabric free with it. Okay, who is it? Judy. Julie, what, uh, Julie's, uh, she sent in a web chat, right? She sent in a web chat. Send an email, Julie. Okay, now, uh, 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 what it is, is Julie's got a, uh, a problem with uh, first-time gifts. She's a bit, a, bit, a bit confused. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, if you email studio at sewingquarter.com, did you just show that? Studio at sewingquarter.com. Um, Hannah will forward it to the relevant person to answer. I suppose it'd be Toby. You'll be forwarding it to Toby, wouldn't you? 10.99. Somebody's little can. Is it somebody's birthday today? Ooh. No, it's like a can. You know when you blow out candles, and it's that waxy, kind of a waxy smoke smell. Anyway, can I just tell you? Can I just tell you? Well, it's Tim noticed it first. I wonder what he was talking about. It's just wafted over to me. Um, let me show you this, right, because this will happen to your board. It's healed, it's self-healed, but you see the, um, I don't want to say scars, because that's horrible, but the, 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 it's not going to affect your cutting, because there's no ridge there, but you will get markings on it. So I just wanted to show you that. So it has self-healed. I didn't want you to get yours, get yours home. It's getting stronger, the smell, by the way. I didn't want you to get yours home and think, oh, my goodness, oh, my goodness, it's all scratched. 10.99, 10.99, okay? Let's go and do some liberty, shall we? Right. Um, I've got two bundles. It's only over that side, Wayne. No, it's not over this side. Um, I've got two bundles now. What it is, I've got all these Liberty fabrics uh, that we launched a while ago. Some have sold out, some are very minimal. Um, so what we've done is created two bundles, the blue version and a pink version. They're different sizes. One's got more fabrics than the other. There's more. Do you want me to do the pink one first, then? Do the pink one first, then. So, whoop, in the pink one, now I'm not going to go through all the names now because I'm going to do all the names in a second, but I just want you to see this, right? So you get half a metre of each of these fabrics, right? Beautiful. They've all got pink, aren't they lovely? You get six metres in total. Six, yep. Six metres in total, £95.49. Now, that, now, yes, of course. Now, if, you've just, if you're new to us, you're thinking, oh, I love Liberty, but their tarn lawns are a bit too fine for what I want to do. This is quilting weight. This is the quilting weight range that they launched not long ago. This is the second, this is the second um, batch that we've had. Beautiful, isn't it? Six metres, Liberty Pink fabric bundle, 95 pounds and 49 pence. There's the still. Gorgeous, isn't it? All of those, 
For no now, I'm going to be going through all the fat. If you're thinking, oh, I love that cottage one, I'm going to be doing all these by the half metre. I will be doing all these by the half metre in a second. Right, OK, so that's your pink bundle. Now, I'm just going to start separating them like this because I'm going to put them in, in families as we go along. Right, there we go. I'll move those over there. So then, would you like to see the blue bundle now? Yes, please, John. Now, there's only four and a half metres in the blue bundle. Again, half a metre of each colour. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, obviously, 71 pounds and 49 pence. Nine different, nine different fabrics in there, nine different patterns in there. I'll just move that pink one out. There you go. Beautiful. So you've got lovely icy blues, cornflower blues, denim blues, cobalt blues. Nine fabrics, four and a half metres. Oh, look at them together. Don't they look exquisite? But don't worry, if you don't want the whole bundle, I am going to be selling them all by the half metre in a second. Because you might want to mix some blues and pinks together, mightn't you? Because they are liberties, so you might want to mix some blues and pinks together. So what I'm going to do, let me just put them into their families. Then I can show you through, through the different, the cosmos. Where's cosmos gone there? It is. Forget me not, because there shadow goes. There, and there it is, there it is. Right, so uh, what I'm going to do, shall I start with this one? It's only because, only because, it's called Little Vine. Now, the Little Vine in pink has completely sold out. The um, Shadow in cream has completely sold out. And this is very, very limited. So I'm just showing you this first before we start. This is obviously a metre that I'm showing you, which is two units. So if you're buying on the web for the first time. Right, in the company, OK? In the company, I've only got two and a half metres. And as far as we know, we can't get any more. So if you want that, it's only because Liberty are moving on to that. They've already, because uh, Jenny was saying, they're already moving on to their next. Oh, do you know what we should do before we go any further? Just a bit of inspiration. Can we show the two pictures of the blue and the pink quilt? Oh, OK, we've only got one at the moment. This is the pink one. These are the two quilts that lovely Jenny Smith made for Liberty. So that's using the pink fabrics from the range. And, and now, don't be thinking, oh, I'll buy the pink bundle and that'll make the whole quilt. We're not selling the quilt bundle. We're just showing you that for inspiration. But if you love that, if you love that quilt pattern, you can get that quilt pattern for free. Just go to our Facebook fan page or our Facebook page, and it's the first post. I think it's just on our, on our sewing quarter page, actually, not the fan page. It's the first post. Or you can go to my, fan, my page as well. It's on there. Uh, the, you can get the instructions for that completely for free. There's a link to get that completely for free. Right, I'm going to put that away because that will sort of sold out. Oh, no, sorry, I put that. Right, where would you like to go first, then, Hannah? Shadow first. Now, this one also came in a creamy beige colour, completely sold out. Um, and, and that's used a lot. If you look at that, sorry, can you just look at that quilt again? Sorry. You see the, the paler sort bit? That's, part of that is the, 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 the kind of um, shadow in cream. And uh, I think Jenny Smith, she ordered 100 metres of it when it came out. So I think she's taken a lot of it. Anyway, so we've got it in three different colourways. We've got it in cornflower. And then, and two pinks. Oh, what? Right. I didn't realise, I'm, so, I'm sorry about this. I've only got four and a half metres of this one. Only got four and a half metres of this one. Oh, they're beautiful though, aren't they? Now, can I just tell you, that's a metre, so that'd be two units. Can I tell you what this is, is this is the forget-me-not fabric, but without any colour in, it's just the shadows. It's just the shadows, it's the outline of that fabric, look. You see, look, the th cluster of three flowers, cluster of three flowers. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? So I've only got, or I did only have, how many metres did you say? Four metres, that. I've only got four metres, that, if you want that one. Beautiful, isn't it? OK. So if you want that in the blue, I've only got four metres of that. This is why it's brilliant. You can, so. If you think, oh, I really want that, I really want that, you can check out your basket. And then if about four fabrics are on the line and you like that one, you can check that one as well. You only pay one p and remember. Right, OK, shadow. So then I've got two pinks. I've got two different pinks. I've got dusky and raspberry. So this is the raspberry, isn't it, the one underneath? 
Okay. Okay, now, now look, I, I know I shouldn't tell you really how much I've got of it, but if you went to a normal shop, right, in your little, in your, not in your little town, in your town, and they had 20 metres of something, you'd think, oh, that's an awful lot. When you think, we've got 30,000 people registered as viewers, I'm not saying all 30,000 of you are sitting watching now, but if you think 30,000 people are interested in sewing quarter, 20 metres doesn't go very far, does it, if you think about it? It's 7 99 for half a metre. It's machine washable. It's 44 inches wide. It's called Daisy Shadow, and it's in raspberry. It's lovely, isn't it? Very good as a blender. Very good if you do quilting to match with all the patterns. Very good as a backing. It's lovely, isn't it? OK. So I've only got 20 metres of that, but who knows? Who knows, who knows how quickly that'll go? And also, don't forget, we're on repeat on Sky. We're on repeat all day long, aren't we, at the moment? So people come in all day. Like when we leave a late afternoon, when we come in the next morning, we realise how busy it's been. In the Because a lot of people don't see us till they come home from work, do they? So like 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock. Deborah says, I'm watching you with eyes in the back of my head, trying to finish an organiser for the stuff I need to... Need to buy. Hang on. Trying to fish in the organiser for the stuff I need. Buy the iron. Ironing rulers, best press, exactly. Oh, yes, all the things you need around your ironing board, exactly. Deborah. OK. This is pretty, isn't it? Look. It's the same pattern, same pattern, but in a lovely, love. I'm sure it's dusky pink, this one, isn't it? Am I wrong? Dusky pink, dusky pink. There you go. Again, beautiful as a blender, beautiful. The thing is, you can use this for dressmaking as well. You could use any of these weights for dressmaking as well. Imagine a lovely uh, summer frock, maybe, maybe, maybe made it out in um, white or pale, pale pink, and then you just bound, did bindings in this or facings in this. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Seven ninety nine for half a meter. Lush, lush. OK, that's, so they're the three I've got in that pattern, the, uh, the daisy shadow pattern. Which one would you like to go to next, then? OK, let's go. We might as well go to what, um, what's next to me. I'll go to cottage now. So I've got the cottage in blue. And in that, it's like a deep, deep crushed raspberry colour. Now, when you first look at this, you don't automatically think liberty, do you? You don't automatically think, but it looks, in the quilt, it looks so gorgeous. Are we going to be able to find the blue one or not? OK. Mike's hunting for it now. Look. Now, warning, 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 warning. This was used. Um, oh, I don't know why I'm turning around because it's not there. In the blue quilt, this was used as the frame border around the outside. How much of this have I got left? Three metres. That's all I've got left now. And I don't think we can get it again. This is one Hayley wants. And Hayley's at home today, so who knows she could ring in and buy this. There's only three metres left. It's lovely, isn't it? If you look closely, you've got the house, the trees, the gate. Which one? One behind the house, like the weeping willow. That one, that's a weeping willow, that one. That one. <laughs> so if you're at home, right, and you're describing where this tree was, look back at the fabric, right? Would you say it was behind the house? No. Would you say it was in front of the house? No. So then just say, move your finger across a bit, right? Wouldn't you just say the one that's between the two houses? I've got that tree. I've got that, I've got that tree in my back garden. Yeah, grows like that, grows up and round. Uh, we haven't got horses, no, sheep got, sheep got behind me. I'm not allowed to put anything in the field behind me apart from sheep and goats. They're not going to build anything there, Hannah. Don't try and get me in a bad mood now. Right, oh, she's only bitter because she's going to have her view ruined, she thinks, by building. Have you been round to, have you rung them up and asked them? No. 
Yeah, but it'd be nice to know what they're going to do. You might love, they might be doing a swimming pool. Might be doing an outdoor, an outdoor Lido and you could just fall out your front door and go swimming. Here we go. Liberty Pink Cottage. Cottage Lane, it is. Cottage Lane. Seven pounds and nine ten pence for half a metre. Lovely, isn't it? Gorgeous little thatched cottage. Uh, now, how much is this one I've got? Oh, we're all right with this one. We're all right with this. Don't need to warn you on this one. It is beautiful, isn't it? Again, um, Jenny used it. Wait, have you got the pink, the pink quilt there again, please? You see how she's got it as the um, border around the outside? That's the houses, isn't it? The big the, the border. Lovely, isn't it? Gorgeous. That's in her um, back garden, that wall. She, oh, I can't tell you where she, West Yorkshire she lives. I was going to say the name of her village then. Lovely message from June. Morning, John. I thought you and Hannah handled the graphics gate so well this morning. Thank you. Uh, true professionals both. Lots of love, June. Thank you, June, my love. Next. Oh, let's do Forget Me Not next. I've got for, for, can get me not. I've got forget me not in four different colourways. Let me show you the four different colourways first of all. So, there's raspberry, raspberry, denim blue. Oh, sorry, I was going to do all four. So I was going to do raspberry, denim blue, lilac, or oh, it's pink, dusky pink and icy blue. So just so you know, so we're starting off with uh, raspberries. So let me get rid of the other three and so just leave your raspberry there. There we go. It's lovely. Now you see this one, I can see this is a summer frock. I've got it upside down. The lovely weight, beautiful weight, machine washable. 44, is it 44, 44 inches wide. Quilting weight, remember, it's not tarn or lawn weight, even though, no matter how gorgeous tarn or lawn is. Yeah, 44 inches wide, salvage to salvage. You see, now, Simon, who used to work here, used to treat himself to a Liberty shirt every season. And I'm sure he had one that looked very much like this. Gorgeous, aren't they? So that means he'll have bought a couple since he left here. I'll message him later and ask him how, how he's doing. Okay, so that was Forget Me Not in Raspberry. I've now got Forget Me Not, oh, do you want to get, tell me which colour you want next? Dusky pink, yeah, dusky pink. This is lovely. It's kind of a dusky pink slash lilac on this one. Look, isn't that lovely? I don't know why it, went, I don't know why it came out like that, lovely. Now, from a can we come in closer to the pattern, uh, Michael, please? Oh, here we go. There you go, isn't it? Lovely. Look at the, the delicacy. Now, it, it, all of these prints are taken from old Liberty prints. This is like a 1940s, late 30s, early 40s print. Isn't it concise and clear? And just, you can tell that it's a good, good quality cotton and a good, good quality printing because of the, uh, how, how precise all those gorgeous colours are. Seven ninety nine for half a metre. Remember, we sell in half metre increments. So if you're buying on the web and you want a metre, you need to put two units um, into your little box. OK. Next. Icy blue. Oh, now this one's limited again. Got 11 metres. Now, again, you'll think, oh, 11 metres, loads. If you think, if you think, you know, all it takes is 11 people to come in and buy a metre each. Do you know what I mean? <gasps> yeah, 11 people buy a metre each. It's all gone now. No. She went, yeah, or 11 people could come in. It's lovely, the rich yellow colour in there, isn't it? Maybe you bought dwarf tulips. Seven, nine, ten. Oh, okay. That could be the snow, Hannah. 
Hannah, Hannah's a bit worried because last year she planted all the, in the year before she planted all these tulips. They came up as normal last year, and this year they've come up as pygmy tulips or miniature tulips. Oh, and they're a strange shape. Oh, no. I love this one. This is the one that um, Jenny Smith, the Jenny that I'm talking about, she's like an ambassador for liberty. She's her own um, quilter and dressmaker in her own right, but she works in, she works in conjunction with liberty. Oh, look, there she is. Look, oh, there's a picture of the blue one, look. Thank goodness I'm wearing a different shirt today. So Jenny, that Jenny there, you can't see her face, but that Jenny there made that quilt and the pink quilt that you see. It's the same pattern, just in the two different colorways. It's lovely, isn't it? And we love this, the way that the denim, I think they call it denim blue, this one, don't they? The denim blue pops out of that, doesn't it? Or the romper that we did yesterday, that was yesterday. Yeah, the romper that I showed you yesterday would look gorgeousness. Am I saying gorgeous too much today? I'll stop it then. We love it. We love, 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 love that one. Okay. Now, shall I go to pathway next? We'll go to pathway next. Just the two, this only came in two different colorways. It's like, um, well, I called it herringbone or parquet flooring, but I also remember my nan, when my nan and granddad had in, in Saltney in Chester had a really, really, really long garden. And the path was made of upturned bricks that went down the path like this. And this always reminds me of that. Right, the blue one first. To warn you, I've only got 10 meters left. I've only got the 10 meters of this one left. And as, as I said earlier, I doubt we'll be getting it again. I doubt, well, because Liberty are on to their next one already. They're on to their next, uh, which Jenny will be back to launch whenever, as soon as it's ready, you see. Country Path, it's called. Look at how intricate it is. Lovely as um, a backing, lovely as a blender. Binding. Oh, here we go, we're on the move again, everyone. Scream if you want to go faster. 7.99 for half a metre. That was a Jerry Halliwell album, wasn't it? That. There you go. I knew Ginger Mike could know that. Oh, yours came out of a bottle as well, then. Right, now I've got it in the coral. This is called coral, this one. Now, it is... Um, I don't say orange, but it is that... Su if you're thinking of paparaccia sapphires, which is like pink and orange mixed, isn't it? It's the mo moving over to the kind of more orangey side, but there's definitely a pink and orange mix in there to create that lovely coral colour. Mm? There's peach background. The background's peachy, but some of the bricks, I'd say, were very paparaccia. One of the borders on the quilt that's been used for. You can't really see. So you see the binding, then the houses. It's the next one after that. There you go. Beautiful. Oh, no. Right, I'm having sellouts now. Blue Cottage is now gone. Blue Cottage has gone. The Blue Vine... It's gone. Oh, sorry. I that. The, oh, there's something what? Oh, right, right, OK. So you know the bundles I showed you at the beginning in the half metres? There's still some cottage in there, but there's no cottage left to sell by the half metre. But the blue vine is definitely, definitely not. OK, so I'll go to... Now, this one's got a funny name. Is it something like Lawn? Something Lawn? Lawn Games. But it's not Lawn. It's not Cotton Lawn. It's still the quilting weight. It's called Lawn Games. For some reason, in my head, I have tennis. And tennis, because it's a lawn game, I suppose, isn't it? Comes in the two colourways. Oh, no. You see, this has been really popular as well. The blue one, I've only got 16 metres left of it. I'm only telling you this. I don't... I bet I'll get told off when I go into the office, because we're not supposed... But you know what? I don't want anyone to miss out. That's all. So, uh, no, if you go into a shop and saw a roll of 16 meters, you think, oh, they've got loads, I can pop back tomorrow and get that. 
Like, like I say, we've got so many people watching us now. 16 meters could go in an instant, couldn't it? Seven pounds and 99 pence. You wanted a sausage roll at this time yesterday as well, Hannah. You've got something to tell us. 7.99, half a meter. It's lovely, it's very soft and gentle print, this one. Slightly bigger print, this one. So that's the one in blue. That's the one in blue, but I've also got it in the other colorway. Hang on, let me just put that one there. It's just called pink, this one. But again, you've got the corals, you've got the yellows. It's very lively and bright, this one, isn't it? So isn't that lovely, look. Lawn games. I like the kind of olive green that they've used to do the, oh, they've done it in both of them. The, the leaves in both of them are kind of that olivey green. But then you've got your foxgloves or your little, what are those bell flowers called there? They're a bit the same shape as, same shape as the snake's head, don't they? Big daisy there, orchids, or is that, an, you know what I mean? That's lovely. Morning, John. Thank you for reminding me of the upturned bricks. My nana had them too, bordering her lawn. Yes, that's right. They went down the thing, and then it went round the lawn like that. And then along to Grandad's shed. And Grandad's shed had that incredible... It, he had all these old tools and everything, and that, like, not rotting wood, that's the wrong... You know, but, you know, on a hot summer's day, the smell that wood, old wood makes. Ah. Oh. Well, I forgot, what's the top bit mean? No, no, but the top bit above that. Oh, OK. I'll tell you later. Yes, but I'll tell you later, because that's what the top bit says. Look at these, four different colours. Then why, that's what I'm saying, though, I put it on. Right. OK, so Alex, Alex spelt with an I in Devon. <laughs> no, no, it says Alex in Devon here. Uh, Alex in Devon, your message comes through with something strange across the topic. Not, don't, nothing for you to worry about. But anyway, what's the difference between lawn and quilting weight, please? Right, lawn, uh, quilting weight is usually about 325 GSM, isn't it? Or 225 GSM. It's, it's a heavier weight fabric. I haven't got any lawn here, but lawn, when, when you look at Liberty... Oh! Yeah. They're too small to show it wafting, though. Because they're only, they're only tiny squares in there. I won't be able to show you in there. Oh, have you got those open? Oh, yes, get me some lawn. Right, OK. I'll answer your question in a second, Alex, because um, Chris has just gone to get some lawn. It won't be Liberty lawn, but I can show you the difference between the weights of the fabric in a second. So if you don't mind, I'll carry on. And then when Chris brings me a piece of lawn in, I'll answer your question. So this one comes in four different colourways. This is called Morning Dew. Uh, so I've got icy blue. Um, now, that's not called denim in this one, but I'll come to it in a minute. And then you've got the two pinks there. So let's do the icy blue first. Icy blue is the most limited. Now, it looks like a bigger version of Forget-Me-Not. Let's just have a quick look at this. I forgot Forget-Me-Not in icy blue. No. You keep looking at the fabric. I'll just... Um, Thank you. You see, because you've got the... Oh, no, it's not the same. It's, not, it's got the same composition, but it's not exactly the same. I thought it might be the same, but bigger. Liberty Icy Blue Morning Dew, seven ninety nine. Now, this is the most limited of the four, I'm being told. It's lovely, isn't it? If there's any... Uh, by the way, if there's any that you want to see together, if you're thinking, oh, I wonder what that one and that one look like together, just let me know and I can put them together for you. Uh, then I've got it in the other blue. Um, now, the, other, the blue over there was called denim or cornflower. This is cornflower. This is cornflower again. <laughs> oh, I like this. 
I do like this one because it's quite bold, isn't it? Look. There's so much detail, isn't there, on everything. Now, see, just so you know, I've only got 13, one, three, 13 meters of this in the, in the warehouse. Seven ninety nine. Okay. Two more, and then I've got the, the lawn here, Alex, so I can answer your question. So I've got two pinks. Which one's first? Dusky pink first. Look, you see? Isn't it? This is what... I think you'd look at a fabric like this and go, oh, that's liberty. That, that's so... Typical of Liberty fabric, isn't it? What time is it? Oh, it's dead Star Wars. 2, 10, 37, okay. Seven pounds and 99 pence. Lovely, isn't it? Half a metre, that is. Remember, half a metre. Love it. Love it. And then if you love pink but want a bold pink, then this next one is just perfect for you. Because like the blue, like the, co um, like the cornflower blue, it's quite a striking colour, this one. It's called raspberry. Now I'm thinking I might want to bind that with one of the other fabrics. See, look. Yeah. Okay. There, isn't that gorgeous? <sighs> Love. Seven ninety nine. Half of me. Sorry, I'll stop saying gorgeous. It's a bit difficult to not say it in this hour, is it? Right, now I've got a bit of an announcement to make. The blue daisy shadow, which is this one, is only available now in the bundle. You know the bundles I showed you at the beginning? That's not available by the half meter anymore. That's just a, isn't it funny how it's all the blues that are going? Blue's very popular. Uh, this is the bundle, right? This is the bundle you can buy in blue. So you can see you can still get half a metre of it in there, along with the blue cottage, because the blue cottage is sold out in, um, by the half metre as well. So the only way to get those two fabrics now is to buy that bundle for £71.49. I've got a pink bundle as well. There is a pink bundle as well. So now I need to ask Hannah a, a, bit, a, a question now. Uh, I'll, I'll do this first. So now, how many of the bundles have we got? Okay, I'm just wondering, you see, if all the bundles don't sell out. Okay, so I can't say to you that you will never see. Right, I'm going to, exp I'm going to explain. I know I shouldn't tell you the, the, how we work and everything like that, but these have been put into bundles, right? Those bundles I've shown you. I think all those bundles will sell, but if those bundles don't sell, if a couple of those bundles don't sell, then that fabric that was allocated to those bundles will go back into the half metre. So I'm not saying, because I, no, but there's not a lot of bundles, that's what I'm saying. I think the bundles will sell out today. But say two of them don't sell, then those two half metres will get put back into the, the, the you know what I mean? Sorry, it's, you know. What happened today? What happened today? What happened today, though? Um, right. Uh, oh, so we've got Cosmos. Oh, no, uh, Alex's question. Right, so Alex, th now this is not Liberty Fabric. This is not Liberty Fabric. But can you see the weight of this? This is a much, much... This is lawn. This is a much... It feels like parachute silk. So uh, it's a really, really lightweight, beautiful... You see how it just falls and sways? And be it, work, it feels like a silk and it falls like a silk, and it, uh, you know what I mean? It's very, very, very drapey. And um, I can't tell you the exact GSM of that, but it's um, much, 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 because they're all slightly different. It's much, much, much uh, lighter. So I'll take this one. Now, you can still, still drape this one, but this is like a... Sh I'll tell you what the difference would be. <clears throat> think of your best Sunday blouse, and think of a shirt you'd wear for the office, or a summer skirt that you'd wear. You see, this doesn't drape as, I don't know if it's, you see, this isn't draping like that. This one, this one here is a, work, drapes like a silk, you know, really, really fast. This one is your heavier weight. If you've got our Spectrum Solids, it's, it's, it's a weight like that. It's just a sturdier, you wouldn't make 
a blouse with a ruffle out of this, but you could out of this, just because of the way it works. You can quilt out of both of them, but you don't mix, don't mix them. But you can quilt out of, because um, Alice Caroline, Alice Caroline quilts with using uh, lawn, Tana lawn, doesn't she? But, um, so you can quilt, but don't mix the two together. I'll just give that one back to Chris. Thank you for that, Christopher. I haven't finished, we haven't done Cosmos yet. We've got Cosmos to do yet. That's all right, Hannah's moving on to all the other things. It's because I'm talking too much, that's why. Right, here we go. She'd been sarcastic again. Look, 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 look. Uh, look at this one. This is Cosmos, because these are Cosmos flowers. Oh, uh, let's do that one first then. Yellow, outside of the bundles, I've only got a metre and a half available today. This is a metre that I'm showing you here. This is called Cosmos because they are Cosmos flowers. This is, oh, upside down. Beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely. Oh, do you know what I haven't shown? Look. There it is in the back of a cushion. And then, uh, it was used here, wasn't it, in the... Um, Right, uh, that's gorgeous. But how much that just have we got? Oh, where did that apple come from? How much do I have of that today? Han? How much? Okay, a metre. If everyone checks out the basket, there's a metre of that, so I'll put that on that pile there. Uh, then which colour would you like next? Okay. called Cosmos Meadow, but I'm just calling it Cosmos. It's called Cosmos Meadow. Look, beautiful. Oh, is that dusty pink? What's that one then? I thought this was icy blue, this one. Does it come in icy blue? Let, let me put this one in. Let me put the right one in. So leave the graphic as it is. Leave the graphic as it is. It's the dusty pink one. They're very close. Look, look, look. They're very, very close in colour. That's why. Look. Just what this one's just a little bit more subtle than that one, isn't it? So this one is the dusty pink. Seven ninety nine for half a metre. It's lovely, isn't it? That's so liberty, isn't it? Beautiful. Good morning, John and Hannah. Thank you for the laughs this morning with your new phonetic alphabet. Well done for your no graphic show. Love, Ali. Oh, Ali, it's fine. It's nice when things go wrong sometimes, isn't it? It was just, it's just, when, it was just when Hannah was like, it might not be fixed all morning, John. I was like, oh. Oh, no. OK. Uh, Neil and Chris had to type up some emergency graphics, two hours worth of emergency graphics, all these, right? And then we didn't use them. But it's good to know they can do it in the future, isn't it? It's good practice. Right, now this is the um, icy blue one. Shh, Wayne, make, making all that noise. I'm trying to work here. 7.99. Liberty, icy blue, cosmos meadow. What's the matter with you? <laughs> He's giggling away like a little schoolgirl. Seven ninety-nine. I thought of Wayne yesterday because um, there were lots of school parties in the um, in the in the theatre when I went to see Wicked yesterday, and there was one little kid like, who looked just like Wayne, right? And he, he they went, "Have you got any popcorn? Have you got your popcorn?" And he opened his rucksack like this. He had family boxes of cookies. He had popcorn. He had juice. He, no, he just had it all in his bag. And then. Um, Bonnie that I was with nearly smacked him because halfway through the first half he started trying to open. You know those packets of biscuits that come in like a vac-formed plastic pack and they've got a popper sort of thing there and if you scrunch them they make a really loud noise. Well he was only trying to pass one to his friend. Also the ladies sitting this side of me right I think they thought they were at home watching the telly because they kept going oh she's ever so good look at her lovely frock isn't her frock lovely like this you're like I'm the worst person to sit near in a cinema or a theatre because I'm like, shh. Anyway, look at this. I think I might have left my favourite till the end. Look, I love this one. Cosmos Meadow. Oh, what's it right there? Cosmos Meadow. Beautiful. Look at the colours. Now, what this is, is what um, 
Jenny said about this one is they've used the vintage pinks and then put a modern green olive in it just to bring it a little bit more contemporary. Huh? Liberty, raspberry pink, cosmos meadow. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. It's gorgeous. That one. Let me just hold that one up, see what that one looked like as a shirt. Oh, you see, look, even from a distance, that looks nice. Oh, do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what? Oh, summer weight curtains. How lovely is that? Oh, you're not coming in. Okay. Didn't, Mike didn't like my curtains. Oh. It's getting very opinionated, isn't he, these days? He does have very strong opinions. Right, if you want to see any of those fabrics together, just let me know, and I'll waft them together for you. I'll keep them in their families. Because I've got other... Now, talking about Tarna Lawn, we've got some Alice Caroline Lawn here for you. Not by the half metre. This is what... Yeah, the, Hannah was jumping ahead to these. So this one, very, very limited, this one. They are five inch beautiful blue Liberty Charm squares. <clears throat> Do we have a picture of this one open? No, no, I thought we had a picture of it, didn't we? 14 pounds and 99 pence. So they're five inch squares. You get all those lovely blues in there. Maybe we haven't, maybe I've just um, spread them out on the table in the past. There is, is there? Timothy looks like he's about to run out the building. I don't know. 14 pounds and 99 pence. Alice Carroll, you're supposed to whisper when you're talking to those, not chat talk low. 14 pounds and 99 pence. Alice Caroline, five inch. There you go. Because I remember the being, the, see the one at the top, it's just very, very different to all the others. And I said, oh, they've obviously put that one in by mistake, but then I opened two and it was in both of them. 14 pounds and 99 pence. What's he doing? I'm in the studio all on my own now. Oh, he's back now. What could you smell? Is it? We'll be going for a break in a minute. It's fine. We'll get it sorted. Do you want to go and tell something? I, hang on. If I can put this into shot. Right. Now, this one is the Alice Caroline. Now, these are two and a half inch squares. Rainbow, every colour you can imagine. Now, every time we bring these out to air, uh, they fly out because they're 9 99 pounds and 99 pence. I'm not sure if you've got a picture of these ones. I don't remember. And, oh, there is one. Oh, fabulous. Oh, there's lots of commotion going on. Oh, hello. It's the fireman. There's a fireman in the building now. Oh, no, it's not, it's not the one you fancy, Hannah. How many do you get in there? Looks like you get loads. 36? You get 36 squares. All two and a half inches. Oh, do oh donuts. I'm surprised I'm doing really well today because I had gluten pasta yesterday. And normally by now I'd be a bit kind of like... Anyway, 9.99. How long have I got? Right. Where's the wooden fruit bowl gone, Wayno? Well, you know. Yeah, we had a wooden fruit bowl up here. <laughs> you sorted it? Yeah, it's fine now. Fireman sorted it. He's going now, Hannah. Uh, we love this. Liberty Lilac expanding sewing box. Now, this is the... the me look at this. Look, 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 look. You get everything in there, look, for $29.99. So this is a pin cushion. You get buttons. You get needles. You get a needle threader. You get threads. The fireman's back with, with his camera now. Uh, you get thimble. Everything's going on today. Can you hear the la raucous laughter coming on from that room over there? Uh, tape measure. Look at these gorgeous little scissors you get in here as well. I've got, I'll just take the safety. Oh, no, I can't. There you go, there you go, there you go. 
embellish. This is something gorgeous. And then, what's in this one? A quick and pick. Oh, everything. Yeah, everything you need. What a lovely gift. What a lovely gift. No, the top is meant to be on like that. I double check with Liberty. Well, only because the first time we showed it, just so you know at home, the first time we showed it, that lid was off like this, you see. Oh, that'll do. Well done. Um, the lid was off. So when I got it the second time, I was like, oh, the lid's stuck. The lid's stuck. I was trying to pull it off. It's meant to be attached. It's meant to be there. It's gorgeous. I've only got one colourway, though. I've only got the one colourway. Please be careful. Very limited. Very, very limited if you want to get that. Now, that one is covered with the Tarna Lawn, isn't it? Yeah, that is covered with Tarna Lawn, that one. Right, OK. Thank you. If this is a bit bigger than the fruit bowl I did have. But look, you see, I'd use these. I will. Look, I'd use this as an ornament. Wouldn't that look gorgeous in your house? The bowl I use is usually a bit smaller than that. I don't know where the smaller one is. Wayne's obviously got a bigger appetite than me for his fruit bowl. They're pin cushions. They're pin cushions, right? They're pin cushions. But I just think they'd look lovely as an ornament. Have they not emptied these drawers yet? No. Oh, that's a nice mug. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, oh! <laughs> Did you know if you put something in that go there now? The Mimi pair in that one or this one? There you go. Pink Mimi. Pink Mimi pair cushion. I love it. Look at the workmanship in there. Aliana, the cleaner's not here today. I did miss her. £12.50. No, I asked. It's awful. Like, I've, been, I've been calling her, we've got the most gorgeous cleaner here called Aliana. Well, I've been calling her Aliana for a year, and Hannah's been calling her what was, Alana. And then yesterday I said, oh, please tell us which of us is right. And she went, neither of you. It's a learner. And I was like, like a learner driver. And she went, exactly. So I was like, oh, OK. So we need to telephone. Right, here we go. This is the other pair. Liberty Lilac Mamie pin cushion, £12.50. £12.50, £12 pence, right? Pears and no apples. Mamie apple. Cute, isn't it? So beautifully made. Twelve pounds and fifty pence. Right. Then I've got the apple in the mail. Hannah got a bit carried away because she loves that one. Oh. <laughs> everybody, everybody went oh at the same time because they they. they £12.50. And then last but not least, now there's always a row about how this should sit, right? I think he sits like this, right? Right? Well, that, that, does he really sit like that? You see, now, Wayne, you have to be the, you have, because uh, Tim and I think he sits like this. Right, and then, see, like that. And Hannah and Ginger, Tom, I was going to call it them, <laughs> Ginger Mike think he sits like that. Oh, Wayne agrees with us. Wayne agrees with us. That's the way he should sit. £12.50, £12.50. Right, am I going over there to do that mat now, then? I'll come over there and do that mat, then, very quickly. Did you say we got a message about it? Message from Mark. He's emailed in. Hello, John. Would you please do me a favour and tell my wife, Corrine, did you say Corrine? Yeah, Corrine, yeah. Oh, okay. Now, Corrine. Oh, which one's she ordered? 
Oh, OK, well, I'll show both of them. Corrine, Corrine, Corrine. Mark, your husband, says hey, you won't listen to him, so check out your basket, but you will listen to me. Oh, Mark. So, has she got this one, Mark, which, which was 39 99 and it's now 19 99 Check out your basket, Corrine. Oh, she's moved from her sewing room to her living room to watch sewing quarter. Love you, Corrine. And then this one here could be this one she's ordered. I reckon it's most probably that one she's ordered, but just in case. Mark, you can always check it out for her. Oh, thanks, Mark. He likes my shirt. Thank you. Uh, 9 99 was 19 99 It's now 9 99 don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere because it is the pig that you've all been waiting for with Joe Carter in three minutes from now. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. Hi, I'm Lucy Brennan and these are my three top tips. My first top tip is to experiment. It's really about um, playing and using all the different features of your sewing machine. So for example, when I was quilting this quilt, I used um, a wavy quilting stitch, which gives a really lovely texture to the quilt. So it's worth having a play about and using um, scraps or little quilt sandwiches um, to try different things. My second top tip is about combining fabric. A lot of people um, like getting the pre-cuts, which are fantastic. That gives you a whole range of a collection, but it doesn't mean that you just have to use those together. It can be nice to mix them in with other fabrics that you've got in your stash or mix them in with solids and create something really unique. My third top tip is sometimes you just need to go for it. You can't always plan everything out. So you might combine fabrics, be making a block, and it not look exactly how you wanted it to. But until you sew it together, you don't always know how it looks. And there's always a way of combining things and making it look right in the end. The Sewing Quarter website is simple and easy to use. You can view a live broadcast of the show on our homepage. Get instant access to our online shop, which has a wide range of wonderful products for you to choose from. You can also enjoy a selection of projects and guides, which we have on offer to help you enhance your skills and gain valuable tips. Watch the live shows and you can buy the product which is currently being shown on air. You can even message the studio to ask our presenters or team any questions you might have. Below, you'll find all the products from today's show for you to look at and purchase. On the right of the screen, next to today's products, you will find our simple programme guide listing all upcoming shows. So, join us today at sewingquarter.com. Simply Sewing is a magazine for dressmakers and home sewists who are passionate about fabrics and love to sew with stylish patterns. Each issue is packed with technical know-how, templates and easy to follow instructions to sew yourself quick wardrobe updates, accessories, plushy toys, gifts, bags and more. Plus, each issue comes with a free dress pattern from our expanding trend-led collection. We're proudly flying the flag for contemporary sewing with stylish patterns and beautiful photography to inspire sewists across the globe at every level. Do you know what? You can't trust anybody in this place. The towels go missing from all over the place. I've just found the one from the gentleman's room in the, in the, in the kitchen, Wayne. Anyway, it's here. It's pig time. And kangaroo. And kangaroo. Do you remember pig bag? Do, 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 do. Do you remember that? No? OK, fine. Uh, let's move. So we do, I'll do kangaroo. Get kangaroo out the way, and then we can concentrate on pig. We're not making kangaroo. We've just got the kangaroo kit back in. 29th of March, you can watch the whole... It's only been on once. Only been on once. Well, it was me and you. Well, it was obviously you and me. 29th of March, right? So the bundle to make the gorgeous kangaroo and the joey in the pouch, not the pocket. 
$29.99. So it's a Joe Carter's Camel Kangaroo. Now that's confusing, isn't it? Joe Carter's Camel Kangaroo. Camel Kangaroo fabric. I wasn't here with prep yesterday. Okay. Beautiful, isn't it? Right. So that's $29.99. You get, what you get in there, you get a metre of fabric, you get the instructions, you get the thread, you get the eyes, and you get the stuffing. There you go. I've missed something out. No, no, that's it. That's it. Metre of fabric, eyes, stuffing. Oh, no, there's embroidery thread as well. There it is. Embroidery thread, yeah. £29.99. 29th of March, you can see that being made. He's... It's fantastic, isn't it? It's a kangaroo, not a camel, Hannah. No wonder we're all getting confused, Hannah calling it a camel all the time. Right. I don't think we've had a soft toy that has been so eagerly awaited. Await, awaited? Anyway, this is what you get. You can make this. Now, is there just enough to make one? No, you can get two out. You can get two out. You can get two out of the bundle if you uh, cut it properly. Um, Collectively. Right, so what you get in this, don't put the price in, don't put the price in yet. So you get the instructions, you get the uh, filling, you get the eyes, you get the thread, you get the embroidery thread, you get half a metre of spectrum solid and half a metre of the, ooh, the lovely, lovely pink fluffy. How much do you reckon this is, right? How much do you reckon this is? You've got enough in there to make two. You've got enough to make two. Oh, now who was it that was in the office? We can't tell them how to get in touch now, can we? But anyway, 19.99. 19 pounds and 99 pence. Piggy kit, metre fabric, instructions, haberdashery, everything you need. Oh, okay. So we're only four minutes through and almost a quarter of the stock is in baskets. Just to warn you, just to warn you. We've got hundreds, we have got hundreds. Look at the ears, aren't the ears gorgeous, look. And then look at this, right? So you've got the lovely little nose there with the nostrils. You've got those fabulous little ears, and then look at this, look. Oh, oi! Right, okay, so that's the pig, that's the pig. Now, Joe's done a special accessory. So if your pig is a little girl and goes to ballet classes, then we've got this little bundle to make a very, very simple tutu. It's cute, isn't it? Now, you can make it like this. If, if this, if this so this is Hannah, in, so this is Hannah, Piggy Hannah in a, in a, a tutu. Right? No, 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 because I'm going to show me in a tutu now. <laughs> oh no, do you know, I look like Jay. I look like Jay on that one, don't I? Do you know what? It's funny because when Joe did the um, ballet dancer, that looked like Joe. When she did the mermaid, that looked like Lucy. And now she's done the piggy lid and it looks like Jay. So this is for the tutor alone. You get, oh, look, I'll show you. You get two um, pieces, half metres of net, sorry, two half metres of net and some elastic. There it is, £3.49. £3.49. Now, if you don't want yours to be a little girl and you want yours to be a little boy, Look, so you can either be in a Shakespeare play or you can be in a choir. Oh, he's lovely, isn't he? So 349 is just for the net, just for the net and the, the elastic in that bundle. So let's take him over. Oh, I need to... I, I need to stand. Oh, on social media, on Facebook and everywhere, they've been asking for the names of... Uh, guess the name of the pig. Oh, these are a few of what people have said. Percy, Pinky, Pudding, Porky, Penelope, Hamlet, Frank, short for Frankfurter, or Percival. What happened to Perky? We had Pinky, but no Perky. Peggy, Peggy's, oh no, that's from a very popular one, who Adele, not Skyfall Adele. How much did she get paid in royalties this year? I couldn't believe it. Anyway, um, not our Adele, Skyfall Adele. Uh, Adele loves the word, uh, the one named Peggy. Peggy. She loves the word Peggy. Right, okay, we've got to get on. Okay. 
Right, oh my word, over a quarter have been checked out, gone, gone. And we've got hundreds of them, remember, we've got hundreds of them. Go. I'll start with the ears. Oh yes, because they're different, aren't they? They are slightly different. Here's one I've made and you can see there's a dart, sort of a diamond shaped dart in the middle of the under ear so that it bends forward. Oh. So can, can we see, see that there, yeah? Just show me the dart underneath again. Oh, listen to that rain. <laughs> Oh, I'm blimey, wondering. the rain's pounding down outside. OK, so let's make an ear, then. OK. Or make a pig's ear. I'll make a pig's ear of it. Yeah. Might change habit in the lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean that. Don't email him. <laughs> right, there's a dart-shaped cutout. But actually, you don't need to cut it out. It's easier if you don't. It's less fiddly if you don't cut it out. That's but hardly a dart. I mean, I suppose it is a dart, isn't once... it? But it's like a pimple more than a dart. <laughs> But once the seam is stitched, oh, it is a bit yes. bigger. yes. That's what always throws me with, with, not with yours, but when something's little like that, I immediately think it's going to be that little amount. But of course, when you do the seam allowance, yeah. And it does make a difference. It just folds the under ear. Oh, so why don't you... No, 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 it'll confuse everything at all too completely. So if you wanted, you could cut that out, but I just leave them in because what, it doesn't but really why, make... There's no point in cutting out because it's so little, isn't it? It is. I'll just set the needle to quarter an inch. And if you wanted to draw this on first with a water erasable pen, so you have a guideline to follow, that's fine. Oh, now, yesterday I said, I heard on the radio, this changed the subject slightly differently, that um, the new prince, the new princess, but more, might be called Alexander. But then I saw Bonnie yesterday and she said, oh, has he been named? June has sent, June has sent through the name. Oh. Oh, is that a guess or...? Prince Louis Arthur Charles. Oh, that's nice. Um, only because Alex is uh, uh, somebody else's middle name, isn't it? One of the other family's middle name, so it couldn't be Alex. Yeah. Louis Arthur Charles. What do we think? Yes, also, also, Hannah thought you were naming the pig. <laughs> if the Queen's watching, I didn't say that. Hannah said that. Prince Louis Arthur Charles. Oh, I quite, it's just been announced. Three minutes ago. Ah. I quite like that. It's, it's nice. Yeah. Anyway. I was hoping for Arthur. Arthur's my favourite. Oh, you want it? I want it to be Arthur. I like the word name Arthur as well. Right, so we've done the dart in the ear. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It, it does just hold that front ear forward, but it, and it does make it slightly trickier for sewing on at this point. Make sure I've got that the right way round. Could you not do it after you've sewn? You could, but it's it's more awkward and you don't yes. want to catch the yeah, upper ear yeah. as well. You could do it by hand, couldn't you, if you wanted to? You could, if I cut Can out it? the wrong piece here. Oh. Well, I said made a pig's ear, I was joking. <laughs> I'm not, it's all right, it's fine. I just am very easily confused. So, it is doable. It's not as tricky as it looks. I'll sew it. OK. For those of you who don't know, lots of new buyers into here. This is Jo Carter. This is what she does for a living. She designs and makes these. Don't you? I do. This is her pig, piggy. Did you, you don't give your animals names as you make them, though, do you? I don't. I'm not good at the naming thing. <laughs> well, you like that with your children, then? Well, I'm not very good with the naming. You name them. <laughs> no, I, I did. I did have some input there. Oh, just some input? Yeah. I wonder how... Do, do you think it causes lots of family rows? Or not family rows, but marital rows. If you've... If, You've had a baby and the wife wants to call it one name and the husband's like, I hate that name. Oh, no, no, I think that I think the wife should have the... T totally have the last say because she's been through it all. But, but just... I wonder if it causes lots of aggro sometimes. Well, my youngest, my husband, was not keen on my favourite name all the way through. So, and so we vetoed it. It was not going to happen because he didn't like it. And right at the end, he said, no, I really like that, actually. Oh. <laughs> so we went with it. It's difficult. Uh, oh, no, I'm not surprised. You look like a Flora, though. Hannah was going to be called Flora, and wouldn't that have been perfect for Hannah? Could... It would. Flora McCabe. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm ever so sorry, Joe, not to put off your... So, Hannah's dad wanted to call her Flora. Hannah's mum said, this didn't even come into my brain, right? Oh, everyone will call her Butter for short. Which you could have called you, I can't believe it's not Flora, couldn't <laughs> she? Uh, anyway, but then some, did you, when your baby's were first born, did you look at them and think, oh, no, that name doesn't suit them? 
Because I've got some friends who, all the way through the pregnancy, going, call him Alex, we call him Alex, call him Alex. Then he comes out and he goes, oh, he's not an Alex, we'll call him Brian or whatever, you know. No, we stop with the names. Okay. Right, the right, let's get back with the pigs. Yeah. OK, so I just, round the curves, pivoted and just readjusted the fabric, did a few stitches at a time. Did, don't rush it, because it is a bit of an awkward well, shape. Well, also, you're also start uh, sewing a stretchy fabric to a non-stretchy fabric, yes. aren't you? So be careful not to pull this one yes. around too much. Yeah. And I set the stitch length a little bit wider when sewing with a fabric like this. Okay. And then we'll check afterwards just to make sure I've got a good seam oh, allowance. Hang on, let's see that there you go. All the way round. Yeah. Because it's easy to slip. Where's your turn through hole? At the end here. Oh, okay. And in the instructions, it says to clip around the curves, but you don't need to with this fabric because it's so stretchy, you don't oh, okay. need to. But if you were making it out, because I saw lots of people have already made this from seeing it in the magazine, haven't they? Um, lots, of, lots of people have made it out of non-stretchy fabric, it looks like, like just cottons and things. So, I've not had a look yet, I yeah. need to have a good look. But you will need to clip if it's a non-stretchy fabric. Yeah, Hannah's been saying, look. <gasps> oh, look. <gasps> this is, is it, what, Shelley That's and Clint, Shelley? Yeah. <laughs> That's Shelley. Oh, now, Shelley, Shelley, let me just go back. No, 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 let me just... Are you all right, Shelley? Shelley had a bad day yesterday. Are you all right, my lovely? I hope you're... OK. Right, look at this gorgeous pig. Yep, that's Shelley's pig, look. It's fab. Oh, that was... Oh! Oh, that really looks like Jay! <laughs> That really looks like Jay. So that's Sarah's on there. Now, that's interesting. You've done black nostrils, Sarah. On your... I like the black nostrils. Uh, that one's called Petunia Piglet, that one is. That's a ballet dancing piglet. Um, now, um, can I just say, if you're watching, go, have they made this already, if you've made this? It was in Simply, Simply sewing. sewing this month. So a lot of people, they haven't had the bundle, but they've, they, they, it was in Simply Sewing. They've used that as their inspiration. Right. OK, so I've turned this the right way out. I'm just going to baste this edge together. And you can see it wants to turn this way now yes, already, yeah. the ear. So you have to make sure you do two opposites don't you yes they need to be mirror images so when you cut the pattern out do you fold the fabric in half and cut out the other and then you know you've got one going each way i don't i just will mark one out and then flip the template okay. over okay. jeanette says hello all nice they've called the new prince after my rescue cat that's from <laughs> jeanette in leaves it's thoughtful of them oh did she look amazing though <laughs> hours after the birth oh i know it was ridiculous <laughs> wasn't it she never. She gave birth. She would have. To eat, yeah. She wouldn't have her legs. Well, no. <laughs> rather, than, <laughs> rather than that, I wouldn't like that. You know. Anyway, let's carry on. But yes, yeah, she looked like she'd just been having afternoon tea or something. Didn't she? Yeah. I went home in flip flops and a dressing gown three days later. <laughs> oh. Why have you got the, the seam turner with you? For the tail. Oh, okay. But no, nothing. I thought it was out of, it's out of stock, isn't it? Is it out of stock at the moment? Matter. You can still use it. Right, so the ears are ready, so I'll put those to one side. Yeah. And the face is a central middle face piece, and then these two join on either side. So this is a bit like a traditional face that you do. Yes. But it's going to be different because you've got the, the end snout, of the snout at, at the end. end. Yeah. Um, and make sure when you mark out, you transfer the marks for the eyes. Oh, right. On the wrong side. On the wrong side, yes. There's a definite wrong side and right side to this fabric, isn't there? The wrong side is quite fluffy as well. You could probably use it either way. I can say I quite like it that way. Like, the, the wrong side is fluffy, but slightly smoother. So if you want your pig to have a smooth finish, then uh, you could use the, the wrong side of the fabric. Helen in Swansea has emailed in. OK, morning, John, Joe, Hannah and Wayne, and everyone else's names I don't know. We've got um, Timothy and we've got Ginger Mike in today. Why do I always have to think you should... You, I think I've known you in a past life and you weren't Timothy, because I never get your name right, do I? Maybe. That is his nickname, Timothy. Yeah. Uh, that's all there is in here. Oh, and Chris is here as well, but he's busy getting ready, because I've told you we're on for eight hours tomorrow and the day after. Oh, Petunia for a girl, Percival for a boy. We can make two. You can make two, one with a tutu on and one with a neck frill on. 
Oh, no. Some, does that come in the email? Oh, this is Hannah saying if someone's getting married, make one for the boy and one for the girl. Anyway, let's carry on. If you make a veil with... With the net, you could. <laughs> Sit them on top of the cake. <laughs> It'd be a big cake. A, Anyway. Can't talk now. Yeah. Um, so I've joined one side on, and so this side on. I like to keep the middle face piece on top. So this time, I'll be sewing from the back down to the end. And why? Is, why do you like to do that? It's just personal preference. Right. Um, so, but it's not the right way of doing it. It's whatever. Now you find it's important easiest. to take your time, isn't it? Because this fabric can be tricky when you're sewing, can't it? Because it can slip a little bit. It can. Make sure... You can be a bit more generous with the seam allowance because it's stretchy. Yeah. You want to take a definite quarter inch, if not a little bit more, just right. to be on the safe side. Now, I know you never use pins, but if somebody's new, would you suggest pins with this fabric or not? Yeah, it works quite well with pins, yeah. actually. Yeah. Oh, there you go. So you're just making life more difficult for yourself by not having any pins? It's just faster if I don't use them as well. John, I did it. Oh, brilliant. She went to the loo towards the piggy kit. <laughs> were you, were you, were you yeah. here? That? Yeah. She's at, oh, she's at work. She, she messaged early going, I'm at work and, and will there be more left later? And I said, we've got loads, but I'm not sure. She went to the toilet, rang it, ordered hers. Oh, fantastic. Right. OK. So, again, use a wider stitch length because if something does go wrong, it's really difficult oh, yes, to yeah. find them. They get buried. Um, I'm using a blue thread just so it shows up, but even then it doesn't Use show blue up too thread, much. Because that's what was on from yesterday. That as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then the last thing before we had the snout is there's a dart at the top of the face. Is, now, is that in the instructions? Yes. About the dart? It should be. Only I did because, miss it. you know. Christine says, hello, John and Joe. How about petal for the pig? Well, that's nice. Petal a Geordie pet. term of endearment. Hello, petal. Hello, pet. That was Geordie. Hello, pet. Yes, it does talk about the dart in the top of the head, so we're fine. And then this, where the dart is, that's going to be the top of the head. And this opening here at the bottom, this is where we want the oh. snout to fit. Right, OK. So when sewing this, there's a mark for the centre bottom of the snout. So line that up with the seam allowance, so a quarter of an inch in from the edge. And I'm going to sew that around. And there are markers that correspond with these seams here, so just make sure it's on track and they do line yes, up. Yes, because you've got four notches on the snout. And that's the centre top one yeah. as well. That's a... So just take it really slowly and take care not to stretch the bottom fabric. Yeah. And you could pin this first, although it might be quite Oh, no, that would be too difficult to pin that one, I think. So make sure this bottom one isn't stretching and that you can see it. You can keep the foot to the edge of the cotton fabric, but just make sure you can see fluff underneath yes. so that we're definitely taking the right seam allowance. And just take your time with this bit. A few stitches and pivots is the easiest way to do it. So that marker's lining up nicely with that seam. Do you ever use the knee lift on your machine? I've not put it on actually. I have, I mean for years I stitched on an industrial machine and I still have it. So I'm oh, used okay. to using a knee lift. Because that, that, like, rather than letting go and lifting your presser foot up all the time, having a knee lift, it's easier to pivot around, isn't I it? I should probably attach it and give it a Not break. here, because you're standing up. You won't be able to reach it here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> do that in your own home. <laughs> There's so much I haven't sort of tried out with my machine yet. Did you see the machine I had yesterday? I only caught a bit oh. of it yesterday. I mean, the 680 is... I love the 680. If I was going to buy a sewing machine, I'd buy the 680. But do you know what? This, I, this machine yesterday, uh, for 1,600... I don't know if we've got any more in stock yet, but £1,699, it was a sewing machine and it was an embroidery machine. Wow. They flew out. They absolutely flew out. Sold out with people wanting more. So if I turn it that way, you can see that's the... Snout in the bottom. Oh, look. It looks like a love heart. It is. I've tried to shape it this way so that it's a point at the bottom. It just makes it slightly easier yeah. finishing at the bottom. And then just go around and check that we've got a good seam allowance because we don't want any sort of holes appearing on oh, that no. seam. That looks fine. And then I'll base the ears into position. Okay. 
Oh, now how do you know which way it goes where? Because they should sort of fold into in towards this seam. Okay. So put them on. Oh yeah, but the fluffy will be at the top, won't it? But yeah. then yeah, hang on. So take yours yours off. You could have them probably. Oh either. no, because it would go. That's it's, going totally the wrong way. I see it. Is. So you can see by when you pin them. And they fit in between this seam, and there's a marker. Okay. You're very big on your notches these days, aren't you? Well, <laughs> I've always been quite big on notches. Have you? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I'll put it in my place. <laughs> no, it's. Yeah, no, I've always been a big fan of them. Okay. And that's really that's What's this here then? That's the back of its head. Oh yes. So course. I'll join those in a minute. Yeah, pop yeah. Them on. I'll figure out what that shape was. But once you've got to this stage, the ears and the snout, that's the difficulty, the tricky bits done, I think. And the back head pieces. Look. Okay. Uh, oink, Laurie wants to call it. Oink. I had a book about a pig called Oink when I was a kid. Did you? Yeah. Shona, Lanarkshire. Good morning. My pig will be called <laughs> Bacon. <laughs> Thank you, John and Joe from Shona. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Call it Kevin, couldn't you, for Kevin Bacon? <laughs> oh, Kevin Bacon. <laughs> right. right. So this is the back of the head, is it? Yes, I put them on top of each other and I'm just going to sew... Oh, there's two, oh of course there's two, two of them. Oh, okay. Right sides together, one on top of the other, and I'm going to sew along the back, just for a short seam to join them. Right, yeah. So that when they're joined, I can attach the, the whole back oh, of yes, the head, yes, but yeah. leave it open at the back yeah. to make it... to join it onto the body later. Yeah. So that's this, this section here. It's always quite wide, isn't it? It's this section here that we're doing. Oh, is, that, is that a window? Is that a lorry? A lorry? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Must be a lovely afternoon, then. There we go. <laughs> so I've only joined them for a little bit, but then I can open up, finger press that seam open, yeah. and match that with the dart in the centre. Yeah. I'll pop a pin in. Michelle, morning, John. I'm feeling much better today. Thank you. Lots of love from Shelley in Lincolnshire. P.S. She'd call hers bacon. Oh, hers is called bacon already. That's um, Shelley and Clint. Well, Christine says, did you say eight hours tomorrow? And Sunday. So tomorrow it's Natasha from 12, to, no, not 12, eight till 12, and Vicky from 12 till four. I'm at the pop-in shop tomorrow, so I can't come in tomorrow. And then on Sunday, it's Natasha from 8 to 12 and me from 12 to 4. Claire has emailed in. I just want to say thank you for my A1 cutting mat, which has just arrived. Thank you for the prompt delivery. Oh, her husband said, oh, I didn't know we'd ordered a room divider. <laughs> <laughs> right. Are you using pins now? I'll use pins just to show. That they, they're, they work really I think, well. I think, fabric. actually, if you're not used to using fabric like this, pinning it, you can see from there, really holds it together, doesn't it? Is, it is, and it's good, especially on this seam, joining yeah. the back. So which seam are you doing now, across the top of the head? So I'm going to join it from the top of the head down one side, and then I'll go back to the top and do the other side. OK, brilliant. And I find it easier to do it that way. OK. Take the pin out. Who's she talking to? Needle-wise, I will use a 12 just a normal needle? Normal, but you could go up a size. Probably, it would probably be more sensible to use a, a, a slightly bigger... Oh, would it? Well, I think probably a 14 would be the best. Oh, OK. But I admit, I usually will just use the 12. Did you put a new one in this morning? No, you can't, because it's got the blue thread from yesterday on. Yeah, no, I've not with this one. So that's one side done. 
and the ears fixed in position. Fab. And I'll do the other, and that's the head. Oh, apart from the nose. The oh, now you theme. see, when I thought I was showing it earlier, oh, you do, you do, do you stitch the ear down as well? I stitch, hand on. stitch at, yeah. right at the end. We've got to get to the tail as well, the tail's interesting. Do I need to do the tutu as well? Yeah. Okay. Oh. It's all right, I've got ready-made limbs. Oh, good. I was going to say, it's not like you, because normally you make your um, legs and your arms first, don't you? I do, and I, I like to get all those bits done and then I can just whiz it all together. There we go, so that's the head joined together. And the last bit, I'll just join this seam right, below okay. the snout. Yeah. Yeah. And I like to start at the bottom and finish at the snout. So then I can finish right where I want to. Try not to over sew because oh, okay. it can cause the bottom of the snout to Why well, is it easier to it. do it that way then than starting at the top and I find it easier because I can see exactly where I want to finish. Okay. Sort of... There you go. Mm. And that's its head. Oh, Okay. Should I pop the eyes in? Oh, is that the next thing? Yeah, I think I'll pop the eyes in now. With these, I've just got a little scrap of felt. Because this fabric is quite, it's quite delicate once you cut into it, just to support the eye, I put, as, almost like a washer, I will put a square of felt behind, so I'll show. Did you just cut into it? I've just made a little slit into it, so I can oh, okay. get the eye through. So if you haven't got felt, you could use any kind of little piece of fabric, couldn't you? Just some or a little, little bit of wadding, or yeah. if you've got thick wadding. So where this, the eye's marked, you just want to take literally one thread, because that will be enough to push the eye to through. open. And we don't want to make it any larger. No. Could than you it use? Needs to be. Excuse me. Rather than using scissors, could you, if you've got an awl or something, you could just push. You know. You might. Yeah, just widen. Yeah. So I put that through, and then I'm going to pop that bit of felt over, just so the back really has something to grab onto. Yeah. Now we're saying, it says on the packet, uh, these are not advisable for children under three. So if you're making it for a little baby, maybe do um, stitched eyes, you know, rather yeah, than the, the plastic eyes. Right, while you put the other eye, oh, I've got hiccups. While you do the other eye, I've just got to go and do um, fabric. So don't do anything without okay. me, will you? That's what, sorry? Oh, look, who's that from? Sharon's made the kangaroo and the, the piggy. Hamlet. Ken, Kenny the kangaroo and Hamlet the pig. Oh, I love the bright pink that you've used for the um, accessories, not the accessories, but the hands and feet. <laughs> and the nose. Come on, come on, John. Pig. You can make two from here for 19.99. Joe Carter's piggy kit, one meter of fabric, the instructions, the haberdashery, which are the eyes, the embroidery thread, the real thread, half a meter of spectrum uh, solid and half a meter of the fluffy and the toy stuffing and the instructions, 19 pounds and 19 pence. I do need to warn you, they're absolutely flying out. Okay, there's the bundle. Oh, not that one, that one. And there's the finished pig. You can also buy uh, this um, accessories bundle, add it to your order, where you get uh, half a metre of pink net, half a metre of purple net, and some elastic. Or when I was little, elastic. That's what we used to say, elastic. Oh, you'll need a little bit of elastic for the tail as well, but I'll show you that in a second. £3.49. pence. Add it to your order. Of these. Half of these have gone, half of that bundle have gone. The piglet is absolutely flying out. And then the kangaroo. Just put through the graphics. You can watch the kangaroo on the 29th of March. It's only ever been on once before. 29.99. dollars Now, we're saying he, but it's only the ladies who have pouches, isn't it? We had this conversation last time. 
So it's a she. There it is. Sheila. Yeah. Good. Do, do. Sorry. What's next? I'll do the limbs. Okay. So I've got a selection of trotters and things over here. Oh, okay. Um, it's the same principle for both the arm and the leg. This one's the arm. It's got this raglan sleeve. Yes, it looks a bit like a house. Yes. And this is the trotter piece, the hand. Right. And it just stitches. So it's all the way along the bottom there. So I'll yeah. do that. Okay. Um, oh, did you say there was a message? No, I've just got, I've got the, what's what you get in the kit at the moment. Oh, this is Ruth, right? My mum doesn't like using a sewing machine. Could she do it by hand? I think so. Um, I wouldn't recommend it. Just, I think it would take a while. But, yeah, you could be able Depends to. on how... I mean, some people's uh, machine sti hand stitching is yeah. like a good machine stitch, isn't it? So it depends, Ruth, my love. It depends what... Uh, what ha Joe wouldn't recommend it, but it depends what your mum's hand stitching is like. Okay. So that's on the bottom there, and then fold this over. I'll pop a pin in so that it lines up. Right. And then we're going to sew around the bottom, and that creates the sort of trotter hand. Yeah, well, I called the accessories earlier. <laughs> Teresa, hello, John and Joe. I think the pig looks like a Teresa. My five minutes of fame. What? Do you wear one of these? <laughs> Teresa, you could have been a mermaid. You could, you could be a sea, well, the seahorse is coming up soon. You could have been a kangaroo. You could have been a frog. You could have been a turtle, a ballerina, and you've chosen the pig. You've picked the pig. Oh, oh hang on, I'm not going to say this out loud. There might be something rude behind it. Oh. Rodney, Rodney Trotter. <laughs> That's come from Ginger Mike upstairs. So a lot of noise going on today for a Friday, isn't it? What are they doing in that room? They're in my dressing room, in that room. No, that's here. No, no but I'm going to, I'm going to Holly Hill, remember. OK, so I folded it over and I've just stitched around the side and the end of the hand. Perfecto. And then just clip the points. Let's clip into that one there, but mind the stitching. Yeah. And I'll cut across this one and then just trim it down a little bit either side as okay. well. And then turn it the right way out. And that's it for a... Do you want Derek the Dobber? Oh, please, if he's about. Oh, you're not going to do it? You, you can carry on with the neck, because that's done, isn't it, the foot then? And the leg is and done the, in exactly the same yeah. way, so should I move on? Two. Two. Once they're done... Where's the body? What's the, what's the next stage two? So you've made... Because what you'd I've, normally do is make these beforehand, wouldn't you? Well, I've got some here. So once yeah. we've got to this stage, turn them the right way out, add some stuffing, not too much in the top, because it's easier yeah. than to sew them in, and then baste the ends closed so within the seam allowance so these stitches won't show but they won't show anyway because yeah. of the density of the fabric so there are two arms and two legs done and then the next step will be to sew the stomach together the body pieces along the front okay so i'll join those on and then we can sandwich the arms into position ham sandwich have i said or a sausage sandwich. She wants a sausage roll earlier. She now wants sausage sandwiches. No. OK, so that's the stomach joined together, and then I can baste the arms. It's actually right quite side. a simple shape for. Is, um, no, I'm not disrespecting, no, it but it has some of the to some of the toys. You t some of the toys have got really difficult angles and everything. So far, this seems to be quite a straightforward one to put together. It is the trickiest bit <clears> of <throat> the ears, just because they're a bit different. Yes, and yeah. Popping a snout in. The thing with the snout is it's yes. right in the middle of the face, so you want yeah. to get that right. So I've got a marker here, a notch there, 
for the top of the arm. So I'll pin these on and then just baste these quickly into position and okay. then I'll join the sides. Do this way. Is it obvious which one goes? Oh, yes, because you've got the angle on it, of course it is. Oh. Although you could put one in the other way up as if it was sort of be going waving. like that, though. It'd be a pig like this, wouldn't it? It'd be a pig like that if you put them in the other way around. Or just one as if it was waving. Like I don't know whether it would No, because now you couldn't do that because you need them... Because they'd both be... But they're... I can't think You'd have to make right. two the same to do that, wouldn't you? But because they're... You could just use them the same on the front or the back. So you can use them either side. So, oh, OK, but... Yeah, but if one went... To, oh, yeah, shut up. <laughs> Carolyn, uh, if you bought two, could you have Pinky and Perky? You don't need to buy two, Carolyn. You, get, you can make two out of what's in the bundle. You can have Pinky and Perky. Oh, yes. Now, remember all those that craze when everyone was buying pygmy pigs, thinking they were just going to stay little pigs and they grew into normal pigs? And I nearly had my... When I moved into my new house, I had this idea to have a water garden and have mi uh, micro hippos. Oh, that would be fab, but... Oh, yeah, you can, you can get micro hippos. And then Shamoy Mary messaged me and she said, before you buy hippos for your garden, you do need to check, uh, just check, look up how they go to the toilet. Right? Oh. Mm. Because did you know that, I don't want to be indelicate if everyone's having their early lunch, but when a, a, a hippopotamus goes to the toilet, it swings its tail around like that while it's going. So it spreads its manure. <laughs> Everywhere. Can you imagine my back garden? Well, there's no flowers. It's a pond and my windows, that's all. Anyway. <laughs> Go on. They're basted into position. Yes. And then this is a back, one of the back pieces. Right. So I'm going to sew it along the side and to sandwich that, the look, arm in, it looks in place. Thick, but your machine's going to be all right going through all that, isn't it? it well, well, it was at home. Yes. Are you going to do it now, live? Yeah. OK. I'm you, I'm confident. Miniature hedgehogs. Oh no. Oh, they're from South Africa, so they're not going to be living in your garden, are they? Oh, you have them inside. Oh no, no, that's not right. I nearly adopted a family of hedgehogs, but um, they have to come and check your garden. <laughs> Before they'll let you have. They actually get to Hedgehog Society, they've got. Hedgehogs that haven't got any homes. You have a family of them, but they have to check your garden for your fences and where you live and everything. No, no. Well, I wanted to buy a hedgehog house, but then I thought, if I'm not going to have hedgehogs... And the only... Ah. Oh. OK. That's one in. Yeah. Oh, so we got through that all right. Yeah. Why are you smirking? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I'm just, you know, anticipating this one going wrong Have we done a hippopotamus? No, they're difficult. They're difficult <laughs> in real life as well. <laughs> they're vicious, aren't they? Yeah, when I, if you get between a mother and a baby, you've got no chance. Because when I was doing that film, A Ghost in the Darkness in South Africa, that we had floods and our whole set got flooded. The only way we could get to work was by going in a little boat across the water to the island where we were filming. And there were hippopotamuses in the water and you had to have people and army people ready with you in case... Because if you accidentally go between a hippo and its baby... That's it. Yeah. Mm. Looks like a jumper now. Looks like one of those 1980s mohair jumpers. <laughs> or was it the 70s? Might be in the late 70s. <clears throat> there we go. And the next job, then, is to... Have the seams for the legs yes. facing each other in the middle and then baste the legs into okay. position. And then it's only add a head and a base and it's... Yeah, got done. the tail to show us how to do the tail, yeah. I'll do the tail, I'll do the tail. Let's pop the legs on. Probably should have pinned these to hold them in position first. She's muttering. She I said, am muttering, sorry. I need to get a pin to put these in place. No, she's just going for that here. How, how, many, well, how many minutes does that mean I've got left with Joe then? She's, making, she's using up two minutes to decide, isn't she? So 13 minutes. 13 minutes? Oh, that's quite 
quite a while. Yeah, for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There we go. So the legs are in position. Okay, let's have a look at this. Okay. And then, which order did I do in the... Oh, put the head on next. So I'll join the head. I'll do this really quickly. I'll pin it in the middle so it's looking the right way. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> I'll just stitch this on quickly. Oh, Lisa sent in a picture. Oh, now look, it's got... Oh, I like that. <gasps> I like that one. This is our pig so far. The recipients of the choice I make. Oh, so she's made several. And look, she's done, she's done um, uh, stitched eyes as well. Now, each of the children have a different designated colour. Or well, presuming they're children, but they're each of the ones she's making them for have got a designated solid colour. So one's got black feet, one will have pink feet, one will have green feet, one will have blue feet, one will have yellow feet. I think that's nice. That looks fab. <clears throat> what do you need the embroidery thread for on yours, then? Just the nostrils. Oh, yes. You can also use it, there's a little bit, actually you can get away with not adding it at all, there's a little bit of shaping internally between the eyes, just to oh, pull yes. them in. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. But when I did that one, I, that's the one there in front of you, I ummed and odd about adding it at all, because I don't think it really needs it. There you go, so that's the head on. But it's still, so... So I left it open at the back, yes. so that I could get the head around comfortably around the top yeah. of the body and I'll close that a bit in a and then the base fits on around the bottom then right so I move on to the tail just so I can definitely yes, get I to that yes I can do the tutu as well yes but the base is you literally it's like you did the snout you just sew it round just follow it round and there are markers to, for the side seams and actually for the legs as well I think just so you know you're on track yeah. and it will fit okay Diana, we had <coughs> two normal sized pigs called Sweet and Sour. <coughs> Guess where they went? That's nice. <laughs> um, this is the piece for the tail. Right. Fold it over lengthways and just sew across one end and down the side. Okay. You don't sew the elastic into one end? Not yet. Okay. You could do all in one go if you want. Yeah. I'm not looking too far, so I'll move that. Is this the elastic from the, from the bundle? It's the same one, yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, I know what I've forgotten now. Oh, what? A safety pin. Why do you need a safety pin? For the elastic. I'll use a regular pin, it'll be fine. Are you sure? So, at length of elastic, the closed end... Yes. I'm going to put... The elastic, so the raw edges are together, and then just sew across that end just to seal. Yes, which is what I was saying. I, I, when I was stitching that seam, I'd have put the, the elastic in. You could have put it in then. Yeah. It's, if you're more efficient. Oh, I'm hardly that. Christy says, apparently the name porcini means piglets in Italian. Isn't that a mushroom, porcini? I thought it was porcini. Well, I've even got your... For some reason, Christy, it's come up with your postcode. Thank you. There you go. Oh, thank you. Oh, porcini piglets. So I'm going to put... It fit through there, it will. Um, the safety pin on one end, just so yes. I can easily get the elastic out again. Right, this is my favourite turning tool here now. So if I can remember how to use it properly. I can do it for you. Where's the, it has to be the narrow one, won't it? I need my glasses. Seven ninety-five. this, I think, isn't it? Oh, seven ninety-nine. <laughs> Look at my glasses. I've not done the narrow metal one before, especially the bit of elastic on it. Is it working? No, I can't get it to go through. <laughs> Hang on. Wait. If it isn't, I can always trim some bulk off the. No, it's seam. too bulky with the with the seam oh, with the elastic, and the, with the elastic and the seam allowance. Yeah. So I just it is turn 
throughable, which is a word. So he's pushing it through with the, oh, I'm a bit disappointed now. These are brilliant. These are brilliant. Don't not, don't really not buy that, because I show it all the time. I'll show you how they work. I'll show you how it works while Joe's turning that through. You literally get your rouleau like that. You drop your um, pipe down the rouleau. You get your turny tool through. And then you just push it through like that. And you've, pushed, and you've turned your whole tool through, like the, the whole rouleau through. Got it still. Not very good if you want to put elastic in a very narrow pipe. Yeah, sorry. How did you, did you use this then, or did you use um, what you're doing now to do it at home? I used one of the sticks from a tilde kit, actually. You did what? You know one of the sticks you get in a tilde kit yeah, to yeah, turn like it through? Yeah, yeah, like OK. I have a stash of those. Right. And it's a 10 centimetre or four inches, is that? Piece of elastic. Yeah. And that, so pull it out so that you've got an inch of elastic free. Yeah. Just show, just show, sorry, show that. So you've turned it through, you hold that end. So the elastic's in, inside the rouleau like that, but then because it's, it's sewn at the end, it curls up, and then you leave an inch at that end there. Pull about an inch out, a couple of centimetres, and then sew across the end just to secure the elastic. Okay. There's no elastic in this bundle. The only way that, that you can either buy it on the web or use your stash or buy the tutu bundle and that's got elastic in it. So the elastic's sealed in place. I'll just trim away the excess and then that will can be basted. Oh, sorry, I've taken him away. There's a marker to the right side of the body there. I'll get curling upwards. So does that go in? Oh, yes. Yeah. So, so have you put the the tail in before you put the round thing in the bottom, or do you put the round thing in the bottom first and then I there? put the tail in last thing, so once the base is on. Right, okay. And then... But the back's still open, obviously. Yes, and yeah. then just close the back to just above the tail so that the tail is machine sewn in place. Right. And then sew the back of the head together, leaving the opening there in the back. So you sew up a little bit past the tail, stop, go from the back of the head down a little bit, and, and then, then stop, stop it. And then you've got that turning... And then how did Space. you how did you fit close it? Is it hand stitch close? Hand stitch with ladder stitch. Okay, perfect. And the nostrils are just not nostrils. They're not nostrils. Not nostrils. They're what are they, then? colonial knots, but you could use French knots. Look, I'd use and it depends who you're giving it to. I'd use little seed pearls or something. You that would look good. Nice, yeah. wouldn't it? Okay, right. Let's do two two. Let's do two two. You got six minutes. I don't think I'll need six minutes. To make a tutu, well, you've got to use six minutes now. Uh, here's the bundle, right? This is the bundle. So you get half a metre of the pink net, half a metre of the purple net, and the... Oh! And the... Oh, yeah, going across the bottom. I was going to say, that's not 1999. Going across the bottom there, the piggy accessory, dress net, and um, elastic, £3.49. I'm just going to double check. You're not going to iron it, are you? Today? No, I'm no. deliberately not going to iron it. If you were watching the other day, when we were making the... Ballerina, I think. And it, yeah. She went to make her tutu and ironed it and melted all of her net on the bottom of my iron. But it did say in the instructions a cool iron. Yeah, and you had yeah, it on. So the instructions were right. Yeah, but then that's the same as that Christmas shirt I bought. Wasn't tall, wasn't looking, put the iron down, the whole collar came off of it. <laughs> well, not a Claudio Lugly, obviously. Right. Okay, with Have the. Have you got some nets or do you want me to get you some? I've not got any, but just talk through it or. To make this one. Well, they're both the same, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. I kept the fabric in half, but then I cut, using a long ruler and rotary cutter, I cut an eight inch deep with the fabric strip. Just one eight inch. Just yes, one. Yes, yeah. So, yes, measured from one end, eight inches. Yeah. Because you, so get, the, you get all strip. of this, look, you get all of this. I know you can't see it very well, but it's a huge piece of net. So you just do it singly. And you cut an eight inch strip? Eight inch strip across the width. Okay. And then folded that over so it was four inches right. wide. Right, yeah. And then just stitched. I don't know if you can see on this one. I used pink thread absolutely so it would be visible on screen. Of not course. Because I didn't bother changing it on my machine. No. Um, I just stitched them together along the folded edge to create a channel. What size it. stitch did you use then? That size, I think it must be a 2.2. .2. Yeah. So it just created a channel along right. the top. 
and then again a, a length of elastic and I put a safety pin on either did end. Did you measure did you measure our waist first to see what size the waist I was? I did roughly. So I took some elastic and uh, you know, it was quite generous. Yeah. I didn't want to uh, but then fed it through and it's just knotted the elastic. I fitted it round a waist. Right. And then just knotted the elastic. So, so it's that, open. So it's open. At so the it's back. still open at the back, and it allows the tail to come through. And you see, now you could customise. You could customise your tutu because in re when I used to make for the Royal Ballet, and the Festival Ballet, very rarely was the edge of a tutu solid, a solid line. So you'd either dag it, do little zigzags, or you'd scallop the edge of it. Very, very seldom is it a straight line. Uh, I'm just not interested. I am. Well, uh. I'm not. I mean, that took me 15 minutes to make that yes. tutu. I'm not a skilled... This is not what a Marjorie tutu for the no. Royal Opera House or anything like that, is it? No. So, that, so look, so the reason it's got the hole, not the hole in it, so when you put it on, its little tail, when it's dancing... <laughs> whoops. There you go. But as we said earlier, that's if you've got a little girl one. Making a tutu for a little girl one could be a boy one, and he could be in the choir, or he could be in Shakespeare play by the Royal RSC in my local town. You do all sorts of things. You make like a little cape for him. Anything. We've got so much net. You can make all sorts of things, couldn't you? The veil for the bride. You could make a Danny Larue walk down cloak. Do you know Hannah doesn't know who Danny Larue is? <laughs> I do. Oh, I was about to say. <laughs> you look there like to say, uh, no, I don't either. Danny Lowe. Yeah, you have to look him up. I'll, we're going to finish in a minute, Hannah. So you can look him up in a minute. Right. Are we finished? Yeah, I've just popped the knot, slid it into one side of the channel and actually just machine stitched either side just so it wouldn't come undone and it would hold it in place. Okay. But it's really easy. And there are other methods of doing tutus where you have a strip and you just tie strips of, of your net onto a, a waistband almost. Um, but I thought that was fairly easy. Yeah, exactly. Well, this is, and also it's going to fit in there. There's no, in here, there's no tutu instructions. That's just a little extra that Joe did. So you won't find tutu instructions in there. But it was literally, you can rewatch, it was a, a, an eight inch wide strip folded in half with a channel and then elastic put through it. That was, that was it. And then you can dag the edges or scallop the edges as you so wish. There it is. Three pounds and 49 pence, half a metre of pink net, half a metre of purple net and elastic. Three pounds 49. Right. Michelle, I live on a pig farm and I collect anything to do with pigs. Shelley. Oh, I didn't know that, Shelley. So it's your she shed overlooking the pig farm. Uh, when are you back in next? Because you're not, normally you come up for two days, don't you? You're not in tomorrow. I'm not, no. It's, I'm not back until, I think, the 11th of May. Why not? Busy. Um, you don't have to tell us your secrets, don't worry. I can't, um, I, or no we don't particular want you. reason. Oh. No, don't want me. No, don't want to. That's fine. Thank you ever so much for that. Yeah, you can all finish that pig so yeah. Hannah can take it home with her when she's... Not that she takes anything home with her. <laughs> but if you put it in the pile outside my dressing room, it means she can take it home. Oh, is that what that means? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's just mine and Hannah's answer to that. I would call my pig squeal or squeak because that's what they always do as babies. That's Jane from South Yorkshire. Well, there you go. I'll take a pig and I'll take an instructions. No, no, no. That's how you lift a pig up in real life. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. Oh, Joe, everyone's saying bye bye, Joe. Right. Oh, I've got to take the two to off first, well, haven't I? Here's the bundle for the pig. Right. It could be a sun hat look. Uh, here we go. This is the piggy kit. You get half a meter of the spectrum pink, solid pink. You get half a meter of the pink fluffy. You get the embroidery thread, you get the sewing thread, you get the eyes, you get loads too many eyes, but remember, if you're making it for an under three-year-old, we don't advise those eyes. You get the stuffing and you get the instructions. You get enough there to make two pigs. And also, something we forgot to say during the show, after you've made your little piggy, make sure you dust your machine out, out afterwards. I've asked Ian, <clears throat> to try and uh, source a little hoover, a very gentle hoover that you can use on sewing machines and things like that, to get, so you can just go. <sighs> can't use your main hoover, can't use your main hoover. And remember, you don't oil and, and the digital machine, as I was told in no uncertain terms yesterday. Or pipe cleaner, that might be quite good, as long as you're not too rough with it, yeah. Oh, Lucy does a tutorial of it, does she? Oh, okay. 
Uh, although you get a little brush with your sewing machine, with lint brush that you get with your sewing machine. There's the bundle. Now remember, you can make two. <coughs> Excuse me, you can make two out of that at 19.99. How much would you pay if you went to a shop? Just how much would you pay for one of those little piggies? You see, would be more than a tenner, wouldn't it? Right now, that's the piggy with a tutu on. What we have is another bundle. Uh, where you get half a metre of pink net, half a metre of purple net and elastic to make tutu or rough or sun hat. Three pounds and 49 pence. There they are. Dress net a metre plus the elastic, three pounds and 49 pence. Okay, Hannah wants you to see this picture. Oh! <gasps> <laughs> I'll have to tell you afterwards. <laughs> They're gorgeous, aren't they, boy? Pinky and perky there. Pinky and perky. OK, right, let's move on, because I've got the... Um, it's not a calendar, it's a kangaroo. It's a kangaroo. It's in camel colour, but it's not a camel. Do you know what? This feels like Norman. This is how Norman feels. Norman's my cat. Anyway, uh, this is the camel coloured kangaroo kit. One metre of fabric, so you get half a metre of each of the fabrics. You get the instructions, you get the toy stuff, you get the embroidery thread, you get the eyes, and you get the thread. You can watch it being made on the 29th of March <coughs> on YouTube. All you need to do is go to YouTube, put in sewn quarter and the date, 29th of March, but put 2018, because it might bring up 2017. And then um, it'll show you, and then you can skip through it to which, I don't know which hour it was, but you can just skip through the hours as, as you need to. Okay, so lots to tell you. Menu, first of all, about tomorrow. What time is it? Oh gosh, no, better go. Menu for tomorrow. Coming out tomorrow, Natasha and Vicky. Oh, look at this. Eight o'clock, Joe Carter. So she's not in, but we're doing Joe Carter's toy box. I can make her stay. Nine o'clock, we've got Saturday morning quilt. 10 o'clock, all new pre-cut. Oh, lovely. Then we've got Lucy's Cathedral Cushion. So it's Lucy in tomorrow then. Oh, right. And then 12 to 4. So the Saturday morning quilt's obviously Lucy as well. 12 to 4, extended live hours. Not giving anything away there, are they? So it's Natasha for the first four hours, and then Vicky for the second four hours. And then on Sunday, it's Natasha for four hours, and then me for four hours. Uh, don't forget to re-sign up for the thing. Don't forget to check out your baskets. Don't forget to buy your half-price sewing quarters. Um, that's it, really. Uh, I won't see you tomorrow because I'm working in the popping shop in the village tomorrow, but I will see you on Sunday at 12. Create your very own stained glass masterpiece with Angie Atwood on Sunday the 29th of April. Angie Atwood joins us at 9am sharing this delicate fairy tale-esque stained glass block which creates the most beautiful wall hanging. The stylish pattern is a perfect project for an intermediate quilter using applique and binding techniques to echo the curves and petals of a single rose. With striking bundles to choose from using lavender and Tiffany blue shades, you'll be seeing the world through rose tinted glasses with this inspirational quilt kit. Join us on Sunday the 29th of April at 9am for an hour of stained glass quilts and tips and techniques with Angie Atwood, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 678. Good morning, how are you? It's a miserable day here in central Birmingham. I hope you're having a lovely morning wherever you are. It's chucking it down here, I know. So much for 
Uh, uh, Tim didn't come in in his shorts and his T-shirt. We should have known. We should have known. And I'm afraid I've got an issue with my graphics as well. So anything could happen in the next... But they are sorting it. They are sorting it. But anything could happen in the next four hours. <laughs> right, so let me tell you. Can we show a menu? Here's the menu. Here's the menu. So coming up to me, John Scott, 8 o'clock. Terrific tools we've got. That's me. 9 o'clock, we've got Snap To It with Joe Carter. 10 o'clock, we love Liberty. We do indeed. And at 11 o'clock, we've got Joe Carter's Pig and Kangaroo. It's not a piglet. It's a pig and kangaroo. So uh, here we go. So terrific tools. Terrific tools are. I've got all sorts of 